Yo, whoa, what is going on? Twitch.tv slash IVE. It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm pretty guys, the best in Pokemon streaming content in probably the entire world. What is up, A Drive Army? Hope you guys are having an absolutely positively phenomenally awesome day today. Big shout out to Chidic coming through, Luxy. What's up, my Artemis and Oliver throwing down. Thank you guys so much. I'm glad to hear you're excited. Go see what's going on. Nomad in the house. See Marvin here, Prime Luke, what's good, Patrick? Dax man, Draconis, A7 Nightmare, my goodness, jeez. Jeez, what's up, Siege Breakers here as well. What's up, everybody? Thank you guys so much for throwing down. Jay, y'all got a hype train already? We haven't even, we just getting started. All right, well, I guess we're doing a hype train to open the stream. Kamikaze, Tyler, what's up? All aboard the hype train! Let's get it, dude. Ash Joey, half pint, legendary. What's going on? How's everybody doing today? Dallas's party was a great time, yes. It was great. So obviously I didn't stream this weekend. The reason why I didn't stream is I had a birthday party for my daughter. She just turned three. So we had some family over. And then yesterday, uh, I was feeling the effects of the birthday party. <laughs> and also we had, uh, it was my, my cousin, or my nephew's birthday. So we had uh, kind of a, a busy weekend. And I was getting ready for today because today we are dropping an incredibly insane announcement. Uh, yeah. It's nuts. It is, uh, I would say, the biggest announcement. Uh, I really think it's probably the biggest A Drive Army announcement we've had. This one's pretty wild. Uh, this one's really wild. Um, so I'm gonna announce that in about 50 ish minutes. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be about 1 o'clock Eastern time. Is, is the plan so we're gonna have some fun we're gonna shiny hunt a little bit I've got uh, you know I've got the fossils and I've got you know the hard cold soul silver shiny hunt we're gonna have some fun with that and then at one o'clock I'm gonna drop the announcement and then we're gonna you know we're gonna do the thing we're gonna do some stuff um you know I'm gonna talk about the announcement all that good stuff okay what's up Siamas Papa John Bruggy what's going on Cuban what's up a7 what's good Miller light Yumi with the gift the all aboard all aboard the hype train stratus 10 gifted subs my goodness stratus thank you so much so i want to let you guys know that the announcement is very big i'm not i'm not wasting anyone's time here all right we're gonna do it at one o'clock it says it in the title i'm gonna give you guys the announcement i would love it if you're here for it i feel like it'll be really fun for us to to be able to celebrate uh this announcement together here live um i'm not trying to troll anybody this is this is a real real thing uh, this has been something that's been in the works for months. I'm not even exaggerating. I started working on this project and this this thing uh, going back to uh, actually February and March. So this is this is big. Um, this is very very big. So I'm super excited about this and uh, I cannot wait to share. I'm trying not to spoil or reveal it. Um, so I will tell you, it's not. Uh, it has it has nothing to do with unite. I'll tell you that. You know, doesn't have to do with unite. Um, I know some people are, are speculating tonight. I'm not gonna say yay or nay to different things. I will say it's not that. But um, this is this is a really big deal, and I think I think you guys are going to be very excited about this. In fact, I think this is going to be beyond the A Drive Army is going to be excited about this. I think this is something that is definitely going to. I've been using the term a lot, change the game, um, because it is it is a big deal. So that's that. That's what's going on. Uh, I'll give you guys the full rundown in about 50 minutes. But in the meantime, we're gonna have some fun. Uh, we're gonna do some shiny hunting, and we're gonna we're gonna do our thing. So that's gonna be the plan. Thank you, Chaos, for 25 Reaper, 16 Zircon killing. What's up, man? Spike Catfish in the house. Frog, what's good? Respawn. Thank you again, Stratus, for the 10 gifties. We got Master Sword, 56 months of love. What's good? I did, Stephanie. And you guys are bringing the hype. We got a hype train here, level two hype train. I appreciate if you guys uh, tweet out the stream. This is gonna be a fun day today. I'm very excited for today. So let's have some fun. Let's do it up, and then we'll rock with it, guys. Like I said, about 50 minutes, we're going to have a, a, a great uh, a great throwdown showdown later today. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome, and you're going to want to be here for it, and we're going to have some fun. So let's uh, let's throw up our Shawnee Hunter here. Hopefully everything looks good. Yeah, it's good. Um, and I'm going to get this going. Let's let's kick off with some fossils. Let's do I got some music playing. I'm going to do some, uh, some bug hunts here. We have a nice chill hour as we kind of get to it. Um, this is not a box break. No, this is this is way bigger than a box break. Yeah Yeah, I would not hype up guys. Listen, I would not hype up an announcement like this 
and say I have a huge announcement unless it really was a big deal. It, you know, and I, I bro, box breaks I do all the time. Things, it's not that, all right? It's something very, very big. Tommy, what's good, man? Thanks for 12. What's going on, man? How you doing? I don't know why I don't hear the music. There we go. What's up, Fortunes? How's it going, man? Welcome to stream. Tavi in the house. What's good? What's up? What's up? Kaysen, what's going on? Shaw Krieg, what's up? Justin, thank you so much. We're almost level three on this hype train. Bringing the hype right here. On our way. So, we're going to have some fun, man. We're going we're gonna to have some fun. What's up, Gledger? How's it going? Laud Ace in the house. We got a thousand bits from Fishmon, baby. Thank you, Fishmon. I appreciate you. What's going on? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jarring with the gifted sub. We're going to level three. <laughs> All aboard the hype train. Uh, I, I have I have already said on Twitter that this will be one of the 12 days of a drive. So it's that big of an announcement. It is a very, very big deal. This is a this is a huge deal. Uh, so we will be celebrating after the announcement with the 12 days of a drive. Uh, we've done uh, six days so far this year. I can tell you what the six days were. It was, let's see here. We did Pokemon Day, or my 30th birthday. We did Pokemon Reveal for, um, you know, what's, what should we call it? We did the Pokemon Reveal for, for Brilliant Diamond, Shine Pearl, Legends Arceus. We raised 51000 for Texas. We got Shiny Solgaleo, our longest Shiny hunt ever. We raised a ton of money for, for Pokemon Snap Charity Marathon. And then I announced my card store. Those are our six days so far. So this is day seven. So those are all those are all really big things, obviously. So for it to make a day of a drive, this is this is a big this is a big deal. So, oh Jack, enjoy your honeymoon, man. Thank you, gaming, for the six months. Thank you, Prom Luke, for nineteen. Jarring in the house. What's going on? How's everybody doing today? What's up, Cam Dub? What's good? What's good? And maybe I'll get a little bit of a little bit of shiny luck today. I haven't done a ton of shiny hunting in the main series games as of late, but maybe today will be the day. Get a little bit of luck. Lost Wolf 19, what's going on? Living life in the house, what's going on? How are you? I do have a card store. Yeah, unpluggedgamestore.com. ADriveTCG.com, we do have a, a card store. Some of the best prices you're going to find online. People have been having a blast getting stuff from us. Legitimately changing the game with that for sure. Um, so yeah, of course, I've been, I've, been, I've been hard at work, my friends. <laughs> I've been very hard at work. Uh, Rusty Man, 20 months, baby. What's good, Rusty? Thank you so much for that, dude. Hope you're doing awesome. So yeah, guys, listen. You know, uh, I'm going to be, like I said, streaming for a couple hours today. Uh, I will stay. I'm going to continue to stream after the announcement. Um, but I, uh, up until that, the announcement's at 1 o'clock Eastern time. So about 45 minutes from now is going to be the big reveal, okay? What's up, Schmank Man? Thanks for 15 months of love. What's good? What's good? Yeah, so in about 45 minutes. I hate to make you guys wait, but, you know, for me, I got to plan things out. And it wouldn't make sense for me to go to live five minutes before because then people would still be trying to come here. To get you know so at least you know so listen i hope you'll stick with me for the next hour we're gonna have a lot of fun but uh it'll be worth your time so make sure you guys are at the very least here uh for uh for that because you do not want to miss it you don't want to miss it you're getting another kid i'll just squash that bug right now i it's not another kid it's not that i'm very happy and thankful my daughter just turned three she's beautiful it's not another kid i'll just i'll just squash that one real quick so no one guesses that <laughs> maybe one day but not now that's not what it is what are the 12 days of a drive 12 days of a drive is an event that i've been running this year where we s select the 12 most impactful days for the a drive army this year we looked at my birthday we looked at finding our longest shiny ever we looked at opening our card store we looked at pokemon reveal we looked at two charity events right so another one of the days of a drive is going to be hitting a million subs on youtube another one of the days is going to be the release of brilliant diamond shining pearl right so that's that's what the 12 days of a drive is about commemorating the 12 most impactful hype days in the A-Drop Army for this year leading into, you know, February or March next year. And uh, we open up this incredibly rare box of Neo Discovery First Edition. It's uh, it's a very, very valuable box. Each pack is about $1,000, you know, maybe even a little bit more. And we're going to be opening packs until we get a holographic. So we've already got six hollows. We're going to be looking for holographic number seven. And my ultimate number one chase card in the TCG happens to be in this box. It is the First Edition Yanma which is the holy grail of bug type cards that is what we're going to be trying to get so uh what's up judge thanks for the seven months of love it's like that it's like the charizard of bug cards is that yanma the way i look at it so it is it is not an nft no i'll tell you what i was gonna release an nft last month i actually i actually hired someone to make an nft i had the nft made but i i personally struggle with believing in nfts myself and i couldn't bring myself to release an nft without truly like believing in it myself right now 
So maybe maybe one day I will, but I, I don't fully buy in. And maybe I'm ignorant, but I don't fully buy in to NFTs. So I didn't feel like it was right to release one until I genuinely believed that it was something that uh, that I, I was I was into. So yeah, I decided not to do it. I, I pulled it and uh, it didn't it didn't feel right to me. So I didn't want to do it. So um, yeah, my hunt counter isn't going up. The Pineco one should. The other one will go up after we reset. So an NFT is a non fungible token. It's a digital uh, piece of art basically. So instead of uh, buying a painting in person, you buy. A digital piece of art and it's authenticated um, through the blockchain technology through um, basically you usually buy with ethereum which is a cryptocurrency so they, they gained a lot of steam a few months ago um, and and there's still there's some big influencers like Gary V who really believe in the future of them and I see the potential I really do but um, I'm not totally sold on it myself so I just I really didn't feel like it was uh, something that, that I felt comfortable doing um, and I'm glad I didn't because I think it would have been a mistake. So, um, it's all good. So, yo, Sable, we're dropping some big news in about 45 minutes right here on the channel. So, you know, I mean, Brady, the thing is I do see a world in the future, right? I could see a potential in 20, 30 years, maybe even 10 years where our online lives are an extension of our in-person lives. They, they already kind of are, but even more to a degree. So owning something online can be considered valuable, but... I personally believe in, in having it. I, I believe in in, in in it being tangible, something in, in, in front of me. I, I believe in that, you know. So it's it's a little tricky, you know. Uh, I don't fully fully get it, like I said. So what's up, Croak? Thanks for 14 months. Thank you guys, by the way, for the hype train. Uh, it does come to a close, but thank you guys. Warlock is here. Judge is here. A lot of you guys. Thank you, Nino. It was a wonderful party. We had a great party. I was so thankful to have so many people at our at our place. Uh, that love my daughter and that's that's the big focus for my wife and i we just want as many people to love our daughter as possible because the, the more you know support and family she has around her that that cares about her and loves her that that's a good thing you know that's all you can ask for as a parent so all right so i think i got these fossils i don't think any of them are shiny we'll take a peek um so yeah it was really nice we had we had it was the first time a lot of our family has actually been to our new house because of the pandemic so that was really nice the pool was great the rain held off. We were actually expecting some pretty serious thunderstorms. Uh, it held off enough. We had to move some of the party inside towards the end, but we were able to get most of it outside, which to me was good. And uh, yeah, it was worth it. So it was all good. Do I think there's a chance of Spoink? I don't know. I don't know about Spoink, man. <laughs> I don't know about that. What's up, Dark Guy? Thanks for 22. What's going on? But yeah, it was great. It was really good, like I said. And uh, it was cool. So we ended up deciding. What's up, Hazard? So I've been to, you know, a handful of family parties in my life, right? And, and one of the things I always notice is whoever runs the party, they always get stuck hosting, right? They get stuck cooking, they get stuck grilling, they get all this stuff, right? I'm sure you guys have been to a family barbecue or something where the dad or the head of the house, whatever, they're behind a grill the entire time. They don't get to enjoy it. So what we did is we actually got a hot dog cart. It was genius. It was the greatest thing, man. We got a hot dog cart. So the guy had hot dogs and burgers. And he was in our driveway, and he served up gourmet hot dogs the entire time. It was phenomenal. And it really wasn't that expensive. Just a tiny bit more than it would have been to do it all ourselves. It really wasn't that bad. Um, Kyle, thanks for 16, bro. Alex, thanks for 24. Has it? What's good? So it was wonderful, man. I was all about that. That was that was the, the play, dude. The, uh, the hot dog cart, man. <laughs> it wasn't a food truck. Food trucks were way more expensive. We looked at food trucks, way more expensive. So we just got a hot dog cart, but it was great. <laughs> It was really good. So That was that was the play. No, this is not this announcement has nothing to do with Unite. No, so I got to enjoy the party I actually spent the majority of the party in the pool with my daughter. It was great It was really really good. She didn't want to get out of the water She was having a blast so I was just playing with her in the water and it was it was wonderful So like I said, I felt very thankful this weekend to be able to spend that time with my family. What's up white? Thanks for 24 Pyrax, what's good? Yeah, yeah, yeah Pyrax. Yeah, it was for her birthday. Yeah it was good. I'm telling you, it was the play, dude. It was the play. So, what's up, Hedge? Thank you for four. What's going on? I'm a big food truck guy. So, yes, Tyler and Alex had a great time. It was good. I can't wait, uh, like I said, for the pandemic to fully be behind us and we can, you know, extend extend out the invites a little bit. We had to, unfortunately, cut some family and friends. You know what I mean? We couldn't get it too big. We didn't want the party to be too big. So, unfortunately, there were people I wanted to invite that we, we had to make some tough choices. You know what I mean? But um, one day, hopefully. So... It'll be good. Yeah, I'm saying variable. That's great stuff. That's great stuff. Well, guys, I got to say one more time. Thank you guys for all the hype. 
massive 65 sub train is incredible and uh, we are going to be throwing down this announcement in about 40 minutes 40 minutes guys very excited for this very very excited for this i uh, know marvel we're not going to do any of that don't worry about that we're just going to have some fun today um we're going to do the 12 days of a drive after the announcement and uh you know we'll have some some good uh some good stuff after that too so that'll be good to go is this counter going up yes it is okay cool so how did everyone oh thank you white kong how did everyone uh do with their go fest my go fest was a nightmare i was busy all weekend so i didn't really play i played for 10 minutes i got two shinies feebas and Timpole. that was it uh that was all i got um i did two raids failed to catch them both that was it that i legitimately played go fest for maybe 20 minutes total it just that was all i got so it wasn't worth my five bucks but that's my own fault so scale of one to ten how big is the announcement i think this is the biggest announcement that i've done on the channel because it, it impacts the a drive army but i think i think it sends some shock waves across across the uh the online world and i think it uh i think it's a game changer so what's up drive thanks to the 11 months of love what's going on how's it going like i said i've been working on this since probably february march i've been working on this project so this is big this is a, this is big man this is big so i'm excited i'm excited about this i think i think you guys are gonna be i think you guys are gonna be excited about it i really do so i really do so it's gonna be good stuff but yeah just get you just gotta wait you know 40 minutes so what's up go for max thanks for the three and uh, obviously some people are gonna be like oh wait that's not as exciting as i was hoping you you could you could you know keep your expectations low but i think i think this is uh this is a really big deal and i think you guys are gonna be excited about it so of all thanks for the 11 spinner thanks for five i think it's worth all the hype so so don't stress it so uh opening for bon jovi again now moving to mixer eh. <laughs> imagine dude there was a time when anytime a Twitch streamer did an announcement, people thought they were going to go to Mixer. Um, going to Facebook. <clears throat> no. <laughs> going to Mixer, baby. Oh, man. Have my own Raid Shadow Legends. Yo, I saw that. I saw that Ninja is getting his own Raid Shadow Legends character. And I thought that was so cool. You know, I know Raid gets memed on, dude. I get it. But I thought that was super cool. I thought that was super cool. That was amazing. Good for him, dude. And of course, I woke up this morning to an email from Raid Shadow Legends asking if I want to do a promo. <laughs> I haven't answered it. I think the answer is going to be no on this one. Thank you so much, Gamma. Thank you very much, man. Oh man. Hot tub stream? No, I canceled the hot tub order, man. Yeah, I was supposed to get a hot tub, but it kept getting delayed because of the manufacturing. And then uh, I was supposed to get like the survey done and permits and stuff, and it kept getting delayed. And I was like, you know what? I'll deal with this next year. I got too much else going on. I did get my shed installed the other day, though. They came and built the shed. So I have a shed now. It's empty, but I have a shed. Uh, CMM, thanks for 20 months. What's going on? Oh, you already know I'm going to be the best crust domain in North America. But I did get a shed. Yes, I'm very happy about my shed because I can store things in there. Like tools and snowblower and whatever else. So I'm very excited about the shed. It's the little things, you know? Thank you so much, uh, CDL. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, not a man cave. It's it's legit. It's a shed. It, I got to store my lapper somewhere, you know? <laughs> I got to store my lapper somewhere. Right now, he's just swimming in the pool with that Pikachu float. I haven't been as much lately, PK, to be honest. I'm de I've definitely been slacking. What's up, Tori? Jaymer, thanks for the 15 months of love. What's going on, Jaymer? What's up, Sylvan? 19 months, baby. Hey. Oh, it's got snakes. Oof. Uh, Levi, I, I'm still in touch with them. I think it's just like they're they're focusing on other parts of the game and I've been kind of busy, but I still I actually have a DM marked that I need to respond to from their team that I just like have kind of been putting off. So, but I will I will follow up on that. Thank you, Sylvan. Jay Mercy, MM. Guys, loving the hype today. Appreciate all. 
Y'all, 35 minutes, guys, till we throw down. 35 minutes till we throw down. Exciting stuff. Uh, Casey Conrad, nine months of love. How's it going? I was looking at Sundance Spas, Gamma, is what we were looking at. So. Oh, that's funny, Sable. That's so funny. All right, what do we got here? I just double check them. I know I can check the Pokedex, but I just do a quick, quick scan over them. All right, let's close all that out. Let's hit the uh, encounter number. Uh, what button am I pressing? This one. There we go. And let's get this rocking again. Okay. All righty. I haven't done shiny hunting like this in a while. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. You're 21 now and you started watching me when I was 14. Or when you were 14, rather. It's crazy, man, how long I've been doing this. <laughs> I really I really get mind blown, you know what I mean? Oh, I oh, okay, Gamma. I really am mind blown when I think about how long I've been streaming and making content and stuff. It's really crazy, dude. What's up, Corgi? And you know what the best part is? I was actually talking to Tyler about this this weekend. I'm like, you know what? I still feel like we still got our best days in front of us. And that's exciting things, man, you know what I mean? I feel like we got the best days in front of us. And as a content creator, there's always this fear that you you peaked, you know? <laughs> if I'm just being honest. There's definitely a fear that you peaked. Um, I don't feel like we peaked yet though. I think we still we still got our best days in front of us. So that's that's a good that's a good thing. Nah, Jack, we're throwing down 34 minutes, guys. 34 minutes, I'm gonna drop the bomb. We're gonna have a good good day today. It's gonna be a good time. So I'm excited to share everything with you guys. And uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. So, what's up? We hooping! What's good, Hoop? What's good, man? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jack, what's going on? Corgi, hooping, what's up? 77 sub train, my goodness. Hey, A7, what's going on, man? Thanks for the 25 bits. Watching your first friend safari. Oh, man, the friend safari days. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The friend safari days. That's wild. It's after the announcement card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck on your starter there. Good luck on your starter there. What's my favorite shiny? I would say Vikavolt. What's up, Brosif? Oras. Yeah, good old days of Oras. That was my first launch as a, as a Pokemon creator. Uh, I had obviously played the games before then, but... Uh, yeah, my first launch as a creator in Pokemon was Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Very fond of that game. That was special, man. And we were... I'm not going to say I was the first in the world, but like... We were definitely the first on YouTube, or pretty darn close, to uh, to do the deck snap method. Um, that was like the catalyst of my channel. I will always remember that purple wormple, man. That purple wormple was a game changer. Uh, for those who don't know what I'm referencing, when Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out, that was, you know, we were one of the the, the channels or, or one of the few people who were trying to figure out how the deck snap works because I was convinced that it was a shiny hunting method. And while we didn't quite nail the uh, the exact details, we were able to determine that. Uh, you know that that you know the deck snap was a shiny hunting method i found a shiny worm pull through the deck snap uploaded it to youtube and it was actually a huge catalyst in, in kind of me uh, doing youtube so um it's just crazy to think back and i actually have just make sure i don't miss a shiny here uh where are you somewhere i don't know where it is i have a plushie for it i just i don't know where it is right now oh was that it right there oh it was right here I got uh, I got this little guy to commemorate it. Look at this little guy. <laughs> He's great. This little guy's great. Look at this. Yeet! Oh, that was a great yeet. Um, I actually, I was, I just threaded the needle on that. Brady's got nothing on me. Hold up. Um. <laughs> oh man. It's a flying type now. Yeah. Well, we knew it was gonna be beautiful. Like we can see that. We can see that. So, and the original one. Did I'm pretty sure I think the original one did evolve into beautiful eye, didn't it? I gotta I gotta look back. I think the original one did turn into beautiful eye. So, what time is the announcement? Thirty minutes, baby. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. Yeah, buddy. You caught a shiny hunt. Oh, that's sick. That's actually amazing, Jake. I would I would love that. I do have a shiny wormpool and go. I hope that they release the party hat one again because like I keep missing that shiny. So, do I have a least favorite bug? Yeah, probably Worm Adam. 
It's like the inverse of Motham, you know? My first shiny ever? A shiny Durant in Pokemon Black? Remember when you dropped the F-bomb for the dog poop? Yeah, that was like a few days ago, man. I don't have that bad of a memory. It was hilarious how mad I got. I told y'all, though. I said I wasn't mad about the fact that I stepped in poop. I was mad that someone had the audacity to let their dog poop on the sidewalk. And then legitimately, the the, the poop cleanup bags were, were 10 feet away. That's that's pathetic. <laughs> I was so mad. I, I, I Like, my faith in humanity disappeared for a minute there. You know? I'm like, what is what is going on? You know, like I said, it is, I can clean my shoe. It is what it is. And I, I barely hit it because I, I caught myself pretty quickly because I realized I stepped on something. Um, but it was 10 feet, man. Like, that's ridiculous. That was ridiculous. And I'll tell you guys, it's so funny. When I'm at my desk, I am in my zone as a streamer, right? Like, I, I've, I've, I'm streaming in my office. I'm in my zone. But you see it every time. I feel like when I'm when I'm out, you know, stream and go... When I'm with a bunch of friends streaming for whatever, like there's been a couple times we've done marathons. You know, I, I, I'm not quite in stream mode. <laughs> and then that slips. <laughs> I'm not quite in stream mode, you know? Oh man. When you're out in the, in you know, cause like I said, I keep my channel uh, clean. I, I don't swear on stream and stuff. I try not to obviously, but I, you know, I swear sometimes in person. Um, I don't hide that. It's not, you know what I mean? I, it's not a huge part of my vocabulary. And especially with my daughter, I, I very, 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 very careful to make sure we don't say anything in front of her. She's like a little parrot. Um, and at the end of the day, I do think they are just words. But it's also something where if you use them too much, it definitely isn't a good look. So, you know, I try not to. But, uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> that was that. That was that. That's funny. So, you know. I mean, listen, I've been doing, like I said, we're, we're on like seven or eight years now. But I made a choice when I started Pokemon. Uh, and it's funny because I actually there there was when I first started Pokemon I wasn't actually family friendly yet, but shortly thereafter when I switched to Pokemon I decided because I used to do Call of Duty and we were not family friendly in Call of Duty time, uh, but I decided it just made the most sense for what I was trying to do. Even if there were people who watched me that were you know teenagers and older, I just know that there were going to be kids that watch and you know now that I have a daughter and stuff I just I just try to try to be mindful. But yo we got this 79 sub train you guys are rocking with about 40 seconds left. I appreciate the love today. Thank you guys for throwing down. About 28 minutes till I drop this uh, this bombshell announcement here. I'm so excited for this reveal. I'm so excited to show you guys what we've been working on for months. Months in the works, baby. Ooh. It's going to be good stuff. It's going to be good stuff. You found a real Pokemon? If I found a real Pokemon, I wouldn't be announcing it. I'd be, I'd be off to like some other country to hide and train it in preparation for the people that were going to come after me and try to take it. So, the do I'm not going to pretend like I haven't thought about this before. Uh, Car Rack, thanks for 28. Horizontal, 57. Havoc, thank you so much for the love. And SVW with the 13. Shade with the 7, baby. Like, you're going to tell me that if you didn't find, like, let's say you were chilling in your backyard and a Squirtle, I'm, I'm wearing a Squirtle Squad shirt. Squirtle rolls up to you and you have an opportunity to befriend said Squirtle and have it be your friend. You know if you start showing that thing off, the government's going to swoop in and they're going to steal your Squirtle. You gotta keep that on the down low and have to secretly train it. You know? Last thing I would be doing is showing it off. The last thing. Because they're gonna come and try to take it. I don't know who they are, but they're gonna come and try to take it. Again, I, I it's not that I've spent time thinking about this. <laughs> I spent my, most of my childhood imagining the scenario of me strolling in the woods going for a hike and then finding three pokeballs there i mean i can't be the only one <laughs> that was my entire childhood you know how many times i just wandered in the forest hoping too many times too many times what's up black pharaoh thanks 100 bits too many times still at 30 years old i i, I take a, i take a nice when I see like a big, big forest, I, I look deep into it. Just make sure. Just make sure there's not, no wizard back there with th three Pokeballs, you know, or a bag. <laughs> you know, just making sure. Just making sure. 
Uh, can I catch me up on Soul Stones? They're all up on YouTube, man. All the videos. Imagine finding a wizard, though. Well, listen. Wizard, Pokemon, real, I don't know. What's up, Starlight Sky? How's it going? That is, yeah, Joey, imagine you stroll up in a forest and then Professor Birch is just getting attacked by a Poochiana. Like, what do you do? You kick it, you kick it. Oh, you know what I saw yesterday? I saw a bear yesterday. IRL. Like a real bear, black bear, running, running across the street. Well, I was just like kind of running across the, the, the forest area. I saw it too. This guy was big. Did I run? I was actually in my car. Yeah. And he was he was on his way to go get some, I don't know, Popeyes or something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know where he was going. He was flying. No, there was there was a real bear though. Um it was it was it wasn't too big though. It was the second time I've seen a bear. The first time was there was one of my garbage cans. I went down with a shovel. I'm not even kidding, dude. I at my old house. Is that my old house? I had my garbage cans at the bottom of my driveway because it was garbage pickup day. And, you know, it was like maybe 8 in the morning. And normally the garbage people are there by then, but they were late that day. And I legitimately look at the bottom of my driveway and there's a black bear digging through my garbage. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do? He's making a mess. He's putting the garbage all over the floor everywhere. So I legitimately grabbed a shovel and I start walking down the driveway, banging the shovel. And then he, he, he ran off into the woods. But the whole time, I'm like shoveling the garbage back of the cans and I'm ready. Like, I'm... I was ready to go because I thought there was and I told my wife I was like you better watch me I'm like there's a real chance that this bear is coming up he could roll up on me any moment now for those who don't know black bears are your best shot if you're gonna run into a bear you want to run into a black bear or maybe a panda bear or maybe like a like one of those little red ones those are okay you can handle those you can usually scare those away brown bear don't even try it brown bear you I'm pretty sure you stand still get big and just hope that's it Polar bear, you're dead. Don't even try. Just just ask if he wants salt on you or something, because you're dead. That's it. So that's that's the dealio with the bear skis, you know? That's it. Black bear, you're good. Yeah, like I said, you could you could match up against a black bear. You could scare him. Brown bear, you're probably dead. Polar bear, you, you're definitely gone. Oh, if it's black, fight back. If it's brown, lie down. If it's white, say goodnight. There you go. That's the saying, right? There it is. <laughs> oh, man. Where do I live that has bears? In the forest in Connecticut. So where I live, it's very, there's a lot, like a lot of woods and stuff, man. It's pretty normal to see deer and foxes and things like that. Bears are pretty uncommon. I've only, like I said, I've only seen two now, but they exist. They do. They're out here. So usually they're just digging. It's usually the black bears, though. They just dig in your trash and they kind of run away. What's up, Dizzle? How's it going? We got Toxic in the house. Cobalt, baby. What's going on? Thank you, Cobalt, for tuning in today for our big announcement. Throwing down about 23 minutes, guys, the news. 23 minutes. So, it's going to be good stuff. Thank you, Kenny, for three. Laurie, what's good? Thank you, A7. What's going on? I agree that you should make it catch them after they faint. I don't know. Pokemon logic. What's up, Spartan? How's it going? Oh, man. What are my thoughts on Series 10 VGC rule set? I don't even know what it is, man. I haven't been playing. I, don't, I haven't played competitive VGC in a long time. I'm in Unite mode, guys. In, in two days, I'm going to be the best crustle in North America. That is my objective. Like, I'm just going to be real on a side note. Just expect a lot of Unite from me. <laughs> my plan is to basically become a Unite content creator for the next couple months. Um, I mean, I'm obviously going to do other stuff. We're doing Soul Stones. I got other things going on. You know, we're going to be opening Pokemon cards, things like, you know, our normal stuff. But uh, we're going to be playing a lot of Unite. We're going to be playing a lot of Unite. Um, no, the announcement is in about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So. No Dynamax, one restricted. Really? No Dynamax, huh? That's an interesting concept. Unite drops on Wednesday, guys. So, it's Unite drops on Wednesday. And, and I'm going to make a video about this probably tomorrow. To narrow down the time, I'm pretty sure it's going to release between 3 a.m. and 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Probably going to be between 8 and 10. Um, the reason why we're assuming that is because the announcement for Unite indicated that it was coming out on the 21st for both Japan and America. Which means that if it's released on the 21st in both then it has to be in that time period. Which I think narrows down to 3 3 a.m. to like 11 a.m. Eastern time, my time zone. I'm pretty sure that's when it would fall 
for it to be released in both Japan and America at the same time. So, um, we'll have to guess. I'm going to just try to be as ready as I could. I'm thinking it's probably going to be in the morning, though. I'm thinking it's going to be like Wednesday morning, 8 or 9 a.m. Pokemon loves to do their announcements at 9 a.m. That's their, that's their main time, 9 a.m. Eastern time. So, and the UK. Yeah, well, again, we're talking about the two farthest time zones here, right? So, they wanted, it's got to be the 21st in America and the 21st in Japan. That's because that's what their announcement said. It was coming out on the 21st. So, that's what we're expecting. What's up, Kerbals? How's it going? Dragon Zabin in the house. Stratus with the five gifted subs, baby. Oh, we will, Zero. Yeah, we will. So, that means Japan gets it first? No. No, 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 no. Think about, guys, remember when the Crown Tundra and the Isle of Armor released? It was a global release for everybody. But they released it on the same day. But they fit it in the same time zone. So, again... We're looking for a, a period of time when it's both the same day. Because it's going to go live to the eShop. You know, we're looking for it to be the same exact day. So, that means it's probably going to be, like I said, the time window we're looking at is like 3 a.m. Eastern time to like 11 a.m. Eastern time. It should fall in there. I'm assuming it's going to be like 8 or 9. So, what's up, Legendary Trainer? Nico Maniko! Hype for today. Hey, what's up, Rachel? Dougie, what's going on? Zaven Kerbals, thank you again, Stratus. For the love, what's going on? Maybe it's different. Of course it could be different, but I, I think I think it's going to be a global launch and I think it's going to fall in that time frame. I would be willing to say probably between the 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. time frame. That is my guess. Do you know when it will be released in Europe? The same thing. I'm just speaking of the two farthest time zones. America and Japan. Europe's in the middle, so it'll, 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 it'll be there too. So probably like 1 or 2 in the afternoon in Europe. That would be my guess. Again, this is speculation at this point. But all we know is that both the Japanese and the USA announced that Unite was coming out on the 21st. So, you want to assume from that that it's not going to be the 21st in Japan and the 20th in the US, right? It's going to be the 21st. So, we look at the time zones and we say, at what point do both of those cross over where it's the 21st for, for both of those? Because Japan is so far ahead time-wise than the United States. And that's what we nailed it down to. So we'll see. Like I said, when I have any more insight, I'll let you guys know. I was going to make a video talking about that tomorrow. So I just wanted to focus today on our uh, our big announcement. Uh, 18 minutes. 18 minutes. Let me tweet it out. 18 minutes. Let me tweet it. 18 minutes for our huge announcement. It has been officially tweeted. 18 minutes. How big we talking here? I, I would say that this is this is this is the biggest announcement. Cause like I said, I, I don't want to tease too much here, but uh, this is the kind of thing where it's like, it's big for me, it's big for the A Drive Army, but this is in my mind a game changer. This is this is a game changer. Uh, what's up, Levi? Thanks for the two months. What's good? What's good? Thank you, Levi. Thank you, Danny, for the cheer. Legendary trainer, appreciate all the love. We got a hundred and three sub train going on. Hey, Nomad, I love it. I love it. What the donks? What's going on? What's good? What's good? A drop moving. I just I just moved into this house. <laughs> if I, I, I don't want to move, man. I hope I'm here for another like 10, 15 years at least. I've been here for a long time. Or I want to be in this house for a long time. Jenna Bear 17, baby. 17 months of love for Jenna. Thank you so much. 17 minutes what's up chaos a drop moving a mixer no i am not moving to uh mixer oh man <laughs> oh man that's funny no i'm not mixer doesn't exist anymore guys and glorious thanks for 18 months of love what's going on what's up what's up what's going on glorious thank you thank you thank you a drives getting a butterfree tattoo. Uh, a million subs, I'm gonna get a Pokemon tattoo. I don't know what it's gonna be. My wife was actually saying it would look really cool if I got like a Charizard, like a chest Charizard tattoo. I don't know. Cause uh, my buddy Tyler was over for the weekend. He has a Lord of the Rings uh, chest tattoo that like goes up his shoulder. And then he was like, it would, it would look cool if you had a Charizard there. I'm like, eh. The, the, butterfree, uh, the butterfree lower back tattoo or the Motham lower back tattoo is very high up on the list. 
<laughs> we definitely joked about that this weekend. Is that I get a, a lower back Maltham Butterfree tattoo. I'm not going to call it what, it what what I normally would call it. We'll call it a lower back tattoo. Uh, you guys may know what, what it's called. It doesn't sound very appropriate to say it out loud. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that would be a great one, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, that's not what we're gonna do. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I've already kind of thought about it. So when I hit a million, so I don't have any tattoos, by the way. Uh, when I hit a million subscribers on YouTube, and this has nothing to do with our announcement today. Um, when when I hit a million subscribers on YouTube, I, I, I'm gonna get a Pokemon tattoo or some sort of A-Drive Pokemon tattoo, whatever. And I think I'm gonna hold a contest and I'm gonna let the A-Drive army design it. And then I'll have like a big cash prize for whoever, whoever wins. Um, maybe like the top three people will get some sort of prize then we'll let people vote on it or whatever um i, I would want to do it that way because i because I, I would think it'd be cool to have someone in the a drive army design it um so i'll do something i'll, I'll make it a cash prize tournament as well uh because i know i know that uh you know uh art takes a long time so yeah so we'll figure something out but that that would be my plan my plan is definitely to allow someone to draw it though um because i ain't drawing it so Well, it's tricky, Saracen, right? Because because I know that, like, let's say I had 100 people submit, right? I obviously wouldn't be able to pay 100 different people. Um, but I could pay, you know, the people who get, who you know, the, the, the best one, the best two, the best three, whatever. Um, so it's tricky because, you know, I obviously want people to want to submit. But, you know, I also don't want to, like, take advantage of anybody, right? So I'll probably make the cash prize, like, solid, you know, make it worth it. And then uh, it'll be cool, so. But yeah, I wouldn't do it for free, so don't worry. I would, I would pay the winner at least. <laughs> I will tell you, someone in the A-Drive army is getting a Team Shawnee tattoo. He's been giving me updates. He, there is someone doing it. When it's done, I'll show you guys. <laughs> He's been sending me updates. There is going to be someone getting a Team Shiny tattoo, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's actually really cool. So uh, when it's done and he sends me a picture of it all done, I'll, I'll tweet it out and share it with everybody. Until it's done, I don't want to share too much yet. But uh, but yeah, there is someone getting a Team Shiny tattoo. Now, the announcement's in 13 minutes, Lindy. It's going to be hype. I think you guys are going to be excited about it. You guys should be here for it. You guys should be here for it. It's going to be good stuff. So... Oh, man. There you go. Oh, wow. Five years ago, too. Very nice. Do we know them? Uh, I don't think so, no. I don't think so. Um, am I going to do a marathon for Unite? So, no. This this announcement isn't a marathon for Unite. Um, I will tell you my plans for Unite is basically stream until I get sick of it. Um, you're probably going to be seeing, like, eight, ten-hour streams. Uh, there's going to be some A-Drive at night. A drive after dark coming out. Um, I'm gonna stream a lot of Unite, guys. Um, it's not gonna be a marathon, you know. It's not gonna be any of that. But my plan is to stream it as much as I can. So what that means is YouTube is gonna take a little bit of a back seat. It's gonna be a lot of Unite highlights. I'll make some guides and things like that after I play a little bit more. Um, but uh, I'm gonna basically be putting YouTube a little bit on the back burner, and it's gonna be mostly Twitch highlights. And I'm just gonna stream a ton of Unite, kind of like I did for the beta, right? I streamed 22 hours of the beta in two days. So, well, I played 22 hours, 23 hours. So, I streamed like 20-ish, 21. So, that's kind of my plan. I, I just want to play the game. And I just want to focus on having fun and just enjoying it. And just, just having a blast. That's what I want to be focused on. So, um, that's the plan. That's the deal. That's what we're doing for your night. 11 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. 11 minutes. I am going to still do Soul Stones. It might take a little bit of a backseat. Uh, just a little bit. I'll probably do Soul Stones tomorrow. I'll probably try to do two episodes of Soul Stones tomorrow just to kind of carry a little bit. And then we'll probably put it on the back burner for uh, for a few days while we kind of launch Unite. So. so. That's the plan, Skis. 11 minutes! Oh, I'm jazzed up for this one, guys. I am so excited for this. Thank you guys for being here. I'm doing this big reveal. I think this is probably the biggest reveal we've had. This is big. You're going to want to be here for this one. This is a big one. This is a big one. 
This is a big one. What's up, Art? How's it going, man? Ooh. Am I going to be the first person to play Unite? No, I don't know when it comes out. I'm trying to play it when you guys are playing it, man. I don't know when it's coming out. On a side note, my refrigerator is broken. I called five repair companies this morning. Uh, two of which got back to me and they were like, uh, yeah, we can get there like August 10th. I'm like, did you not hear that my refrigerator is broken? August 10th? I can't wait three weeks for you to come look at my refrigerator. So anyway, I got a company coming tomorrow to diagnose it. Now, who knows how long it's going to take them to actually fix it, but they're coming tomorrow. Luckily, it's still working, but it's got an error code on it. Um, and the error code is indicating that the, f the freezer, uh, something's wrong with the control board or the, or the fan in the freezer. I don't know. So I'll have to wait and see. So far, everything is still cold. So, well, hopefully, hopefully, uh, we're not going to lose all of our food and stuff. We have a lot of food in there right now, too, because my in-laws are here, too. So, ugh. So, yeah, anyway, I got, but it was crazy when I was like, I, you know, I called these companies and they're like, yeah, we can get you on the schedule August 12th. I'm like, I just told you my freezer was, was broken. August 12th? You can't wait three weeks? Oh, my goodness. It's not a baby announcement, Cameron. I've already I've already thrown that one out there. So But yeah, they're coming tomorrow, so we'll see, hopefully. You know, we'll see what happens. But that's that was that was the deal. So I do have another fridge. We have a, an outside fridge in the garage that was left by the previous owners, but it's a lot older. Uh, so worst case scenario, we can store some essential stuff in there, but you know. What's up, Cosmic? How's it going? Brialt, what's going on, man? Thanks for 14. What's good? How's everybody doing? Okay. Uh, thank you, Brialt, Cosmic, Miss Ash, 47. I think you're gonna like the announcement, Miss Ash. I think I think you guys are all gonna all gonna like it. I think you guys are all gonna like it. The garage fridge, yeah, right? Isn't that it, kids? You take your old fridge, you put it in the garage, and then you get your new fridge, right? So uh, it's funny that the fridge in the garage is, is for, it's the original fridge of the house, though. So it's that fridge is like 20-something years old. But you know what? They don't make them like they used to. It's crazy. It's like it's planned obsolescence, man. I'm telling you, uh, they legitimately, they legitimately, uh, it's crazy. They legitimately plan for these things to fail. You know, they want these new fridges nowadays to fail. So, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. Actually crazy. You know, you got like this 20-year-old fridge that works better than this this and I have like a pretty nice fridge right now. It's like it's it's like a pretty solid fridge and you know it's only going to last. It only they only last like 8 to 10 years now. crazy what fridge you got right now i have like an electrolux but uh, again it was with the house so i didn't choose anything so how many files does this man have i re i re reset every like 35 or something that's what it is donks it's just beverages the the garage fridge is is honestly it is right now it is a bunch of g fuel cans some sam adams porch rocker i don't drink it i don't drink beer I got some white claws. There ain't no laws when you're drinking claws. Um, and I got a bunch of bottle, bottle water and Diet Pepsi in there. That is what my outside fridge is right now. So. <laughs> that's that's what my Oh, I have some Red's Apple Ale too. I got some Red's Apple Ale in there. We just had a party this weekend. Let me tell you. The people at my party cleared out the claws, man. I had something like 30 white claws and they were all gone by the time the party was over. I was like, jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll tell you, I tried, I, I, I'm not a big drinker and the seltzer, I'm a big believer that the second white claw tastes better than the first one, right? Um, 
Um, I tried the iced tea ones. I don't think they're that good. So I'll say that. Oh, man. Keith, and for, I was saying earlier, we kept our, uh, our list small because of the pandemic still. So... My wife said the mango is her favorite too. I like the black cherry. If I had to pick, so. Truly or busy is the move. I'll try those next time. You know, I'll try those next time. So, the nice thing is the calories are pretty low. So, they're not too bad. Five minutes, team. Five minutes. Five minutes, team. Oh my goodness. Straw, three months of love, what's good? Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? What's up, Straw? Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm not a big seltzer guy either, but like I said, I would say, like, my main thing is if I'm gonna have uh, adult beverages, it's uh, Jameson, Jameson and Coke. Um, that's, that's my go-to, so. Oh, good, Hoopa, good. But otherwise, we drink in the G Fuel Baby Shotty Splash! <sighs> Love me some Shotty Splash, baby. I like the Crown Apple. I used to mix Crown Apple with Vanilla Coke. Very good. But we drinking Shotty Splash! That's what we drinking. Um... <laughs> oh, man. How long is the announcement? Four minutes! I should probably tweet it. Four minutes. All right, I'm tweeting it. Four minutes until the big news. This is big. This is very, very big. I'm excited, man. I hope you guys are going to be as excited as I am about this. This has been months in the making. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. What's up, Blade? Thanks so much for seven months of love. What's going on? Vanix in the house with 13. What's good? What's good? Thank you so much. And just so you guys know, what's going to happen? Let me give you guys the quick rundown. We got three minutes until this announcement, all right? So here's what's going down. I'm going to give you guys the announcement. I'm going to give you guys the throwdown showdown. Then I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to keep streaming. I've got something really exciting planned for the stream that has something to do with the announcement. Um... And I'm going to be probably streaming for another, at least, I would say, probably an hour or two, I would say. Um, we're going to do 12 days of A-Drive. Got some really cool stuff. So so we're going to be playing for a little, uh, you know, we're going to do doing stuff, streaming for a little bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, so don't, don't, you don't have to go anywhere. We're going to drop the announcement, and then uh, we're going to, we're going to keep streaming. So, we good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you, Jay Pokemon, for the 31 months. Kylie, 15. What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? All right, so I got I got two minutes. It says 1258 on my end, but my phone says 1259. Am I a minute, a minute ahead here? I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, these fossils are done, skis. Okay. Right, let's check these. Quick peep here. All right, I've made you guys wait long enough. We could change the game. We could change the game. Let me just update my encounters here. Change the game there. I'll close this. We don't need this right now. We can change the game a little bit. I need some hype music to hold up. I'm gonna actually just play the intro. I'm gonna just play the intro right now. Cause like the intro music is, that's that's about, that's pretty hype. I'll just play the intro music. Okay, you guys ready? You guys ready for this? All right, listen, here's the deal, guys. I'm very excited. First of all, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's here today. I really appreciate the A-Drop Army turning up and excited for this reveal. Like I said, this has been months in the making. This has been months in the making. And when I say this is game-changing, I genuinely believe it's game-changing. So I hope you guys are excited about it as I am. All right? You guys ready for this? I think it's time. What's up, Dave? I really think this, this might be our biggest reveal. This is big. You guys ready? What's up, Tilly? 
Appreciate you telling Dave. What's up, Alpha? What's up, everybody? Don't keep you in suspense. All right, here's the deal, guys. I'm super excited to announce. What's up, Joe Pink? Thanks for 33. I am super excited to announce this massive news, this game-changing news for the A-Drive Army and beyond. I am now officially a co-owner of the Grading Authority. The Grading Authority is a new Pokemon and sports card grading company that authenticates your cards with these incredible color custom slabs. Currently, some of the competitors charge as much as $150, $300 to get your cards graded. You could submit your cards for just $20 to get them authenticated. I'm not even kidding. Look at this Umbreon. Look at this Umbreon with the blue slab. TGA is going to be changing the game, ladies and gentlemen. These slabs are amazing. I'm going to show you some of the color options here. I'm going to be doing some giveaways as well soon. I got, what do I got? I got orange, red, blue. Here's purple, a fossil muck. I've got a pink Mew right here. Nice pink label Mew. I've got, uh, I've got this blue Phoebe here. Very nice blue label Phoebe. We've got, uh, I've got this rainbow rare gold Pikachu VMAX. And, uh... It's about to go down, ladies and gentlemen. Let me switch to my other layout so you guys get a nice view of what these slabs actually look like. And we're going to really celebrate that. You guys can type exclamation point TGA in the chat for more information. But I'm going to hit you guys with this camera here in a second. And I'm going to show you guys the full rundown on what we're looking at here right about now. Let me just pull up this, uh, this light here. And I'll give you guys a nice view of these slabs. Look at this. Where's that Umbreon? You guys got to see the Umbreon. I just had it. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me these are not the absolute cleanest slabs in the game. Look at this Umbreon slab. You could change the color of the front of the slab to match your cards. And the back of the slab matches the Pokemon slab itself. As I said, the, comp the competition... Oh, I've got that Vivid Voltage thing. I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. The competition is charging $150, $300 a card. We are charging $20 a card right now with guaranteed 30-day turnaround. We are going to be capping submissions, though, every single week. So if you want to submit your cards, I recommend you guys take a look. I have a video going up in three minutes to announce this. I've got the all the details in the video explaining how to submit. And you guys will have the, your guide on how to submit your cards. This is a three and a half muck, by the way. It was all beat up that I wanted to just see how low of a grade I would get. I got this. Uh, I want to pop this out of the sleeves so you can see it. Out of the plastic here. And you guys can type exclamation point TGA to go to the website. There is Pikachu Rainbow Rare VMAX. I got a 9.5 on this beauty. Absolutely incredible. The grading company. Uh, how tough is the grading? I'm going to answer some questions as I talk here. The grading is going to be pretty strict. They have a, a criteria on the website, and I do um, emphasize it on my video as well. I would say tougher than PSA. I think PSA gives out 10s uh, like nobody's business. So uh, the, the main thing is consistency. But you can see on the website they have a grading scale on how they're actually grading everything out. Um, so I would say, like, I would say it's going to be very consistent and very fair. And you can see we've got this Phoebe. What I will say, though, is if you, if you see this right now and you want to submit... Definitely wait for that video to drop and submit ASAP because again, we can only take so many cards every week right now because we're going to be gearing, guaranteeing our turnaround times. And as I mentioned, I am a co-owner of this business. I know there's a lot of concern about people, uh, you know, submitting the cards to some of these new grading companies and, uh, the, you know, the grading company disappearing or whatever or not, not being worth anything or whatever. But again, I am a co-owner of this business. I am in. I am in it for the long haul, baby. It's going to be amazing. Look at this pink slab for this Mew. This beautiful Mew. Yeah, you got to look at it out of the plastic wrap. Right? Out of the plastic wrap. Right? <laughs> There's the Charizard. I got a 9.5 in this Charizard. Which, by the way, keep an eye on my Twitter. I'm actually giving away all three of these today. These are all being given away on my Twitter, by the way. So the video is live. Awesome. Let me just update that really quick. And actually, if one of my mods wants to update our TGA command, um, it's the Grading Authority. And let me actually put my tweet out there. Tweet all. Let's get that tweet going. And let me just update this YouTube video. And uh, I've got the command for the YouTube video. I highly recommend you guys check out the YouTube video. That's going to give you guys the rundown on how to submit. Um, I'm going to show you guys a really good shot of this in a second.
All right, let me just post this real quick. We are obviously posting to a lot of social medias to make this announcement, so let me post this real quick. And uh, I'll show you guys a couple close-ups on the slab so you can guys get a nice uh, nice look here. Let me grab let me grab my MewTube. This is another one that I'm gonna probably give away uh, over the next few days. We're gonna do the Charizard one first. But take a look at this MewTube, right? Look how great this is. I got a 9.5 on it. I picked the purple slab to match the purple on the Mewtwo. And I love how the back of the slab matches the back of the card. What's up, Ghosty? Thank you so much. That is another thing too, DV8 has mentioned. All of our breaks, all of our vintage breaks will come with one free custom car, uh, custom graded card. So if you're in one of my vintage breaks, one card from your pack will, will be able to be graded um, and set with your normal cards at no extra cost. So yes, and that starts with our next, uh, that starts with our next, um, our next break base set. Do I have any 10s? Yes, I have a 10 cent of Scorch. There is a level above this though. This is a pristine. There is a 10 Immaculate, which has a special label. And uh, I do not have one yet. So I, I, I'm not gonna show that to you right now, but there will be a reveal for that at some point. Um, and, and that's pretty awesome too. So if anyone has questions, I'm happy to answer them for sure. Very happy to answer them. And let me see here. The tweet just went out. See a lot of people tweeting it. So there we go. Let's see what else I got to show you. I got this one too. I got this Butterfree. One other thing too is you guys are gonna get uh, you get a handwritten note with your cards, which I got as well. Uh, Mac, we have uh, our criteria on the website. So ultimately, listen, you know what's gonna have to happen is this is a newer company. I'm not gonna beat around the bush, right? We're we're newer, um, but I can tell you that the grading authority is is very much so committed to upholding this standard. And they're gonna stick to their criteria and I think we have the best best looking slabs on the market and it is officially TGA drive yes um, correct trade there are no hidden fees so if you send in you know a very valuable card it costs the same as a common card there are no hidden fees there are no hidden fees we are not doing subgrading right now miss ash that's something that we've discussed for the future but we are not doing subgrading right now we're gonna we're gonna keep it at this um, we also have authentication options so you can send in a card to not be graded and just be put in an amazing slab. So let's say you have this, this muck right here, right? And I got a 3.5. I knew it was going to be bad. If I, if this is my childhood muck, right? And this is, this is like my favorite childhood card. Um, and you don't want to grade on it. You can just get it authenticated. It's $20 a card discounts for bulk shipping. You can do express for 40. And then you can also do the authentication with no grade for just $10 a card. So very, very good stuff. And again, guys, the biggest thing is we're going to be um, really taking a, only a certain amount of submissions per week as we grow. And that's to ensure our turnaround times. Look how beautiful this Genesec looks. We legitimately have the red gen label to match the Genesec. You can sit, ship Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic the Gathering worldwide. You can also ship uh, sports cards. They also do sports cards. In fact, TGA started with sports cards. And then we partnered up. They've been doing Pokemon as well. Um, but uh, obviously my big focus is gonna be the Pokemon side of things, but they do take sports cards of course and all that good stuff so uh, The website shiny hunt and my video actually breaks down their entire criteria So you can see exactly what their criteria is for the grading So I'm not gonna go super in detail because they actually have a page on the website Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page of the website There's a little button that says uh, grading criteria I think and I, I show it in my in my video as well and they, they explain um, you know all the different options and how they choose the grades and how they get their subgrades and or not the subgrades But the the mid grades in between 9 and 10 um, So I'll show you guys all the colors as well. Uh, so here's red. This is the shining Genesect red They're gonna be on the website as well. Here's the purple Mewtwo purple. I went with orange for this Charizard I've got uh, I showed you red, but there's red on this Charizard as well, which is very clean um, I've got pink on the Mew pink is actually the newest color uh, we got pink on the Mew here, which I thought was really nice. And I showed, did I show you blue? Here's a Phoebe that's got blue, which I think looks really good. The giveaway is gonna launch in about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, here is gold. I picked gold for this Pikachu. I'll show you gold on this Poi Pole too. It looks really clean. And the form actually shows what the different uh, color options are too. There's this gold Poi. How clean does that look? How clean does that look? Isn't that so good? Poi pole with the uh, with the gold. This is probably my favorite. I mean, you cannot tell me that this is not top tier. 
I mean, this is, I mean, this is incredible. Let me just pull the camera up just a little bit. I mean, you cannot tell me that that is, you get to pick the color. You pick it. You get to pick the color, guys. Yes, when you submit your cards on the form, you will pick the color you want. Based on the colors that we have, obviously. So, But, I mean, that is... Tell me that's not so clean. Tell me that's not so clean. Incredible. The Umbreon Slab is God tier, yes. That Umbreon steals it for you, I'm saying. I'm saying. Absolutely incredible. That's it. I mean, we're doing it right now. Yo, brings the rain. What's going on? I think the biggest thing I want to emphasize, guys, listen. I'll, I'm happy to answer any questions if anyone has questions. If you want to submit to TGA, you're going to want to do it soon because we can only take so many per week right now because we want to guarantee our, um, we want to be able to guarantee our turnaround times right now. So every week we're going to assume, let's say we fill up, right? I don't know if we're going to fill up. Let's say we fill up. I think we will. I think we will. Um, yes, it is global. Um, you can submit from all over the world. Uh, I would do it ASAP because, again, we can only accept so many per week as we continue to hire more people. We just hired someone today to start. Um, there's a pro there's a big process, though, for training and things like that. So, um, you know, they don't start right away. So, you know, there's, there's a little bit of a, a kind of time that takes there because we have to make sure that everyone follows the exact standards because that's the biggest thing. We're focusing on we have our set criteria and our standards. And we're making sure that we keep those standards. I know that there's been times with like uh, some of the other companies where you know they'll just give out tens and, and it really should have been a nine, right? So those are some of the things that are that are really important. What's the QR code? So right now, uh, I know a big thing for people is what's called a population report, which shows how many of each card has been graded. The goal, the population report is being being made. It's not public yet. It, it's being worked on, um, and I believe the end goal is to have the ability to scan the QR code and go right to the population report for your card. That is the end goal. So, um, that is that is definitely the end goal. So, if you if you if you have a card from a different grading company, you can send that in to be graded by us. Yes, they'll break the slab open and they'll grade it, regrade it for you with uh, with our labels. So, I genuinely believe that the biggest thing that I want to emphasize here is I believe we have the best labels in the game. I really do. I'm not just saying that. This is why I chose to work with TGA and I decided to become a partner in their business. I had, I had been working on this, like I said, going back to February and March. And for me, it was very important to find something that looked really good. Because to me, when I'm getting a card graded, sure, there's the aspect of adding value to it by grading it. But to me, it's a display. It should take your amazing card, your memory, whatever it may be, and it should display it in such a beautiful way so that you're proud to look at it. Right now, you can send up to 100 cards at a time. Um... Any more than that, you have to send an email and, and talk to the team so they can take your order. So, can I do a side by side? I can. I can. So I think. Listen, I, I think if you look at our slab, I think you'll you'll honestly think that our slab is way better. I'm just gonna be real. I genuinely believe that. And again, we're also talking about the fact that right now. If you wanted to submit to PSA, you're spending 150 bucks. I really think our slab looks exponentially better. I really do. I really think it looks exponentially better. Let me move the camera just a little bit so you can see it. I mean, you tell, like, it's crazy to me that anyone would even consider. Ours looks so much better. So much better. And the fact that you can choose the color to match the card. This Genesect is a great example. I picked red. How beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? I will say this, Shawnee Hunt. Our, our plan and our focus is not to grow the business by raising prices, but to grow the business by raising some, the amount of submissions we take. So our hope and our plan is to keep the prices what they are right now. That is a big focus. In fact, I remember when I sat down with, with, for dinner with the, with the team and I met them for the first time. They said, we do not want to change our prices. We do not want to change our prices. So, that's big. That's big. I got this other one here too. And you can look on the website. There's actually a different slab label for the sports cards and things like that. It's a little bit different for sports and stuff like that. Look at this Eevee. 
How about with a nice blue for this uh, this Eevee here? Isn't that nice? I I really, guys, I genuinely believe that this is a game changer right here. The grading authority is changing the game, and I'm super stoked about it. I'm gonna get you guys hyped up about it. So, question: You say competitors are charging 150 at the moment, which is true, but that's due to backlog and demand. What happens when their prices come back? That's a great question, Nate. I think the reality of it is, Nate, you have to realize that they've been doing that for months with no update or sign of when that is going to change. So, I mean, I, I don't know what the future of those other grading companies are. I'm not really worried about that. Our focus is, is creating our own path in this industry. And, and like I said, give you guys great prices and great slabs. And at the end of the day, the other companies are not doing this. They do not allow you to match your slab to your, your card. They do not. You can send Magic the Gathering as well. So, the backlog for them is probably very, 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 very big. So again, I, I, I'm going to be real. From our perspective, we're not worried about what PSA is doing. We're not worried about what BGS and CGC are doing. We're really not. We are focused on what we're doing and trying to create an amazing, amazing product for you guys. So that way you can preserve your favorite cards in an amazing display that you can cherish that you can try to sell whatever whatever works for you and as a collector for me i i my core focus was to have a display that made it look amazing because to me when you get your card graded when you take that extra step to send a card in it should look awesome it should look awesome you can send japanese cards in fact we actually uh have a person on our team who is a, a specialist in japanese and uh both speaks japanese and reads japanese how durable is the display? It's very durable. It is the standard. And one of the things I love is that we actually have this nice, like, clouded uh, outside. So that way it really allows the card to pop in the middle. And that's another thing, too. Like I said, we are going to be capping our submission. So I don't know how long it's going to take to fill up. They can fill up in 10 minutes. They can fill up in an hour. I don't know. Tomorrow. I don't know. But when they cap every week, you know your card's coming back in the time we're promising. You don't have to submit your card and then, oh, you know, it's going to be six months. So that's really, really important. That's really, really important. Grading is cool, but submitting is complicated. It's not. Check out my YouTube video. I actually have a, a mini tutorial in that video where I explain how to submit. And it's so easy, dude. One of the things we wanted to do with TGA, and we're going to continue to work on this process, is we are going to be doing everything we can to simplify the process for you guys. Not to sound rude, but do you feel the cards from your company will have the same value as a card from the competitors? That's a great question, Wacko. And the reality of it is, I, I don't have an answer. I'll just be real. I'll give you my thoughts, though. Um, it, let's say you take a... Let's say you take this Charizard, right? We'll call it a 9.5 Charizard. And we compare it to the competitor or, you know, PSA's Charizard at a 9.5 uh, for X and Y evolutions. The reality of it is, it's going to be worth what someone's willing to pay. Someone's going to look at this and say, yo, I like this slab way more than PSA's slab. I, I, I'd rather have this. And someone's going to look at it and they're say, no, you know, I want PSA because they're more established. The reality of it is, it's going to be, it's going to be something that is going to take time. Um, and I think, I genuinely believe the slabs speak for themselves. And I believe that working with TGA now, as, as a customer from your perspective or from my perspective, you are getting in when TGA is at the beginning. Because I genuinely believe that TGA slabs are going to be everywhere in the next few months. I, I genuinely believe that. I would not have, have gotten to be a partner in this company if I didn't honestly believe that. And I think it's important to know that I'm backing this, not as a as a, as a sponsor, but as a co-owner. I think that it's important. I've been here doing content for eight years. Very important to remember that. I'm not going anywhere. I genuinely believe that, that TGA has the potential... The grading authority has the potential to absolutely change the game in the card grading community. 100%. 100%. So, I wish I had a, a great answer for you, Wacko. The reality is, is you know, the value is going to be what someone puts on it. I genuinely think our slabs are the best slabs in the game. That's what I think. That's why I'm so excited to share these with you, because I genuinely think they look amazing. So, that's for the community to decide. But I think once people submit and these card slabs get out there a bit more... I think people are going to love them. And I think people are going to really understand the quality, the value we're delivering. And the other thing I want to say too is, you know, we talk about, is it going to be worth what a PSA slab is or whatever? Are you really spending $150 to $300 right now to get a card graded? That's not feasible, dude. 
That's not realistic. You know? No one wants to spend that on, on an average card. Because then it... You know, let's say this Umbreon right now. I got a 9.5. Let's call it $100, right? Let's say it's a $100 card with, the, with a 9.5. If you spend $200 to get it graded, you know, what kind of risk are you taking for six months? I mean, it, it just... The equation doesn't make sense, right? So we're trying to change that. Or we're trying to give you guys an opportunity um, to get your cards graded. I love this one, by the way. I picked the blue for the Senate Scourge because Shiny Senate Scourge has that nice blue on it. I thought that was a really nice one. This was actually the first uh, card I had graded by them. I got a 10. I was very happy about it. <laughs> so, um, and, and a couple other things too. I mentioned this in my video. Um, a couple things that I think are really, really uh, important to mention. Yes, you can submit internationally. All of my vintage breaks. Thank you, Huffy. I, I'm, I appreciate everyone's subs and stuff. Um, what I want to say is all my... No, you're fine, Wacko. Please, hit me with all the tough questions, guys. Hit me with all the tough questions. All of my vintage breaks will have TGA opportunities. So if you're in my next break for, for base set, one card from each pack will be able to be sent to TGA on my behalf, and it'll get shipped with your regular cards. So we are changing the game. We are going to do vintage breaks, and you know when you join my vintage break, at no extra cost, you will get one graded card out of that. Every time. So when you pull that holographic, you're going to be able to have it graded. How amazing is that? Number two. I am going to be able to film videos where I film the first half of the video on, let's say, Sunday, and I don't release it. I send my cards in. I get them graded. I film the rest of the video with the guess that grade and upload it with a turnaround time very quickly. Very, very big stuff. So, I, I, I genuinely think we're changing the game with this. And I'm very excited about it. If anyone has questions, guys, seriously, feel free to hit me. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, I'm, I'm more than happy to, uh, to, to try to take on the questions, even if they're tough questions, guys. And listen, I'm not gonna... You know, if you have a Michael Jordan rookie card, right? This incredibly rare card. You have a, a first edition base set shadowless Charizard. You know, am I going to tell you to set it to TGA? I would love you to set it to TGA, right? I would love for you to do that. But we're when you're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in one card, I mean, that's a decision you got to make, right? But I think we are looking at a huge new wave of collectors for Pokemon cards, both vintage and modern cards. And TGA is here to provide the premier aesthetic, quality, and beyond. It's, it's going to be amazing, guys. It's going to be amazing. And again, you see those prices. You see those prices. This is more than Pokemon. Yes, sports, Magic the Gathering, the whole shebang. So there you go. You're scared to send them. You're afraid to lose them. So we actually have insurance. The business itself has insurance. So when you submit your card, you can actually get insurance. For every $100 you want insured, it's $1 to insure it. And we have an insurance company that, that insures the business. Um, so if your cards are lost, they're, they're insured. Um... So, when it comes to declared value, no, no, no. Declared value is what the monetary value you would put on the card is. So, I would say consider it like a, from a, a raw perspective. And what, what, would you, what would you value that card at if it were to get lost? Now, again, we never want that to happen. That's, that's never the thing. But when you're dealing with something like this, there, there's going to be, you have to insure it, right? So, so, TGA has insurance for the business. And, you know, if, if something were to happen to your card, then, then it would obviously be insured. So, um, it's, it's covered. Don't stress that. You know what I mean? So... Uh, if you follow all the processes and get a ship there, you're good to go. So right now, Chef, we're focused on the colors that we have. We have, uh, I believe it's seven great colors. So, there you go. What's up, Crunky? Thanks for eight. So yeah, like I said, I'm happy to take more questions. I appreciate everyone sharing everything online. Um, and thank you to everyone who's, who's showing the love. I'm actually about to drop this giveaway right now. Um, I'm about to drop this giveaway on Twitter. I think this giveaway is about to blow some minds. Let me just double check it. All right. I have officially tweeted this giveaway. You guys are going to want to, uh, check out my most recent giveaway because it is an incredible giveaway. I'm going to post it in the chat. Maybe we can make a command. Uh, let me see. Do I have a giveaway? Uh, I'll do this. Edit, com, giveaway, new TGA giveaway. Again, Dead, I think it's important to remember that our focus is really not worrying about what, uh, what other companies are doing. Um, it's really focusing on 
just creating the best product we can create. And I genuinely believe we have that. So I would say Zoom, our, our criteria is, 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 is more consistent and probably a little bit stricter than theirs. Uh, we have our exact criteria uh, laid out on our website. So we are working on that process syllable. We are actually. So that's the plan, Galaxy. That is the plan to have some sort of uh, kind of cohesion there. Wow, you guys are crushing it. We have 116 retweets on that. There is a purple border. I have it on this beautiful Mewtwo GX. Tell me that doesn't look amazing, guys. No, the giveaway is a global giveaway. Tell me this doesn't look amazing. I mean, incredible. Thank you, doctor. Thank you so much. I mean, guys, incredible stuff here. Incredible stuff here. I got the pink for the Mew. Look at that Mew, reverse hollow Mew. Beautiful. You can submit more than 20 cards. You can submit up to 100 cards. If you want to submit more than 100, you have to email them and, and discuss that. So, look at that Butterfree. I, I, mean, I was very happy this got a 10, by the way. <laughs> Obviously, perfect condition, this Butterfree here. You can see the centering is very, very good. But there is a level above 10. There's actually, this is a 10 pristine. There's one step above that, which is immaculate. And that actually has a special label. That actually has a special label. Is there a green? Yes, where's my green? Do I have a green? Did I not get a green? There's definitely a green. I, I definitely did not get a green, which is on me. There is a green label, yes. There is a green label. Uh, Punsy, they package these cards so well. That's not really a concern. Um, if you have an error or misprint card, when you fill out the description of the card in the form, mention that. They are grading for errors as well. So that is horrible grading. Yeah, but look at the card though. I sent this in to get as low as a grade as possible. I wanted to see how low, low I could get a grade. Look at the whitening on the top. Look at this bottom corner here. I like wanted to see how low of a grade I would get because I know some people's concerns over newer grading companies is that they only give out eights and tens, eights, nines, and tens. And I wanted to get as low of a grade as I could to show that there is a real grading scale here. And I didn't send the scissor in yet. Um, there is a real grading scale here and they have standards that are, are very, very strict that they're following. So yes, if you want to see, um, let me pull it up. Uh, I, I have it on, if you go on the website, we actually have all the colors displayed on the, on the little carousel on the website. So, we actually have that on the uh, on the website. So, so I wanted to do that. Oh, uh, we're not doing subgrades right now, SDM. Oh, dude, the surface is all scratched up and stuff, man. Now this this deserved a pretty low grade. <laughs> it's really beat up. It's really that's the thing though. Like the case actually makes it look better than it than it actually is. Um, I believe it's very good, Berserker. Thank you, Zero Delta, for the four. And one of the other things, too, that I think is really cool, there is going to be a population report. Yes. The population report, they are keeping track of everything right now. It's just not something that's, like, ready to roll out yet because it's a lot of programming on the back end. Um, but it will come out. And one of the things I want to mention is if you have a card that's beat up, right? Let's say you have a card like this and you know it's going to get a really bad grade. You can send it in to be authenticated and be slabbed in a slab like this without a grade. So if you don't want it to be this number right here and you just want it to be authenticated uh it has a slightly different slab but it's, it's pretty close and you can choose the color and everything and you're good to go uh the company was was actually founded earlier this year gun runner uh it's been worked on since last year so it's pretty new will the price of a card if sold be the same as psa or beckett juan i wish i had an answer for you there's no way for me to, to me to guarantee that right now i do believe that as tga gets out there more and, and being backed by me uh, as someone who's who's legitimate and who's been in this in this community for a long time I think once people see these slabs and they get their hands on them I believe that the quality will speak for itself But I, I, I can't sit here and promise something like that because again TGA is a newer company, right? And this is this is really kind of the the beginning stages um, In terms of getting this out there in front of a lot of people So uh, that's for the community to decide but I, I do believe that we have an incredibly high quality product I think the slabs speak for themselves and I think that the color, uh, the color options are, are incredible. So how did I get involved with this? Was I approached? No, no, no. I have been looking for the right grading company to partner with. Uh, going back, like I said, to probably February. Um, I recognized there was an opportunity 
uh, for the A Drive Army, and I really felt like this was something that I wanted to be a part of because I really felt passionate about the TCG, and um, and I actually found them. I found them, and uh, I was I was very very excited to uh, to team up with them. So I found them, and, and and we started some great conversations, and and it's it's honestly so exciting that uh, that we're able to be uh, part of the team here. So. I really, to me, th their product stood out to me. So, th I mean, that was the biggest thing. So, very, very excited. Very, very excited. So, I think it's time. We're going to take a little break from looking at these. I think it's time to celebrate 12 days of A-Drive. And we're going to open up our Neo Discovery box. And like I said, if you guys want to submit your cards, do it up. What's the best way to pack cards in a shipment? If you watch my YouTube video, I actually give a little breakdown on how to do it. I give a little breakdown on how to do it on YouTube. So, I would definitely check that out. I would definitely, definitely check that out. So, okay, let's do some uh, some card openings here. I think that's that's the best way to do this. Do a little card openings here. Let me actually change um, change our title and stuff. Okay, let me do that. Let's switch us into the Pokemon TCG category for now. And let's open up some cards. Let's open up some cards, baby. So what we're going to be doing right now, guys, is celebrate the launch, uh, or my partnership, rather, my, my co-ownership of the Grading Authority. We're going to be opening up our Neo Discovery First Edition box right here. And uh, we're going to be doing it. We're going to be having some fun. We're going to be having some fun today. So, let's do it. Let's do it. You guys ready to go? So, the way this works, guys, is we are celebrating the uh, 12 Days of Age Drive. This box is an incredibly rare first edition Neo Discovery box. And uh, we are in, uh, picking 12 days that are important to the Age Drive army that we can celebrate. And so far, we, we, we're going to be opening packs of Neo Discovery until I pull a holographic. Let me grab my layout here. Uh, this one. We're going to be pulling pack or opening packs until I pull a holographic. And uh, so far, I pulled an Espeon, this Wobbuffet, Tyranitar, Kabutops, very, very epic, Hitmontop, and Magnemite, our most recent one. And I actually make little notes on the back. We did this for my birthday, my 30th birthday, which is where it all started. We did this for the Pokemon reveal of Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and Legends Arceus. This was for when we raised over $50,000 for Texas. We've got... Um, I got Shawnee Solgaleo and 823 encounters. This was for our Pokemon Snap charity marathon. And then this most recent one was when I announced my card store, Unplugged Gaming. So now we have the pleasure of opening up this uh, beautiful box here in the hopes of finding my number one chase card, which is the first edition Yanma. So let's do it. I've been busy, right? Look at this. This is beautiful. All right, guys. Umbreon or Zatu for today? We'll start with that. I'm going to be opening up packs until I get a holographic. So let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to be opening up packs until I get a holographic. Chat says Umbreon. Uh. Okay. All right. We're going to start with Umbreon. What's the what's the card trick on this? I always forget. Is it is it none? I think it's none, right? I think it's none. Can I set the scene a bit? Is this vintage or modern? Oh my god. This is very, very vintage. Okay, let me set the scene. This box, $45,000. Not anymore because it's open. These packs, about a thousand bucks a pop. So that, that sets the scene right there. Um, this was basically my gift to myself. Because <laughs> this is... This is a serious. This is a serious business. This this is an incredible set that features some of my top cards. We really, really want that Yanma Scissor and Fortress. Uh, this set came out, I believe, two thousand and one. Question: Don't you lose money when you open that box? Hundred percent. Of course, I lose money. hundred. I lose all the money. Yeah, yeah. This was a. This was my birthday gift to myself. This was a big gift. Uh, McCullough, thanks for sixteen months. What's going on? Um, but I'm very thankful that I have the opportunity to do this and share these moments with you guys. So, yeah, I mean, I have a bunch of vintage stuff. You don't see me opening it every day on my own, right? This is, this was a special treat. So, um, 
You guys ready to go? Let's do it, man. June 1st, 2001. Yes, yeah, so this is vintage, guys. 20 years old. 20 years old. And again, we are going to be opening cards until we pull a holographic. And we are celebrating 12 days of A-Drive and our brand new grading company, The Grading Authority, which has the Premier Slabs. I should actually show some slabs real quick. We have the Premier Slabs. And uh, if you guys type exclamation point giveaway in the chat while we're watching this, if you guys, let me find the other ones. If you guys type exclamation point giveaway in the chat, I'm actually giving away not one, not two, but all three of these on Twitter right now. All three of these I'm giving away on Twitter right now. And that's the first of our many, many giveaways. So feel free to go check that out, retweet it. Not asking for a ton. Uh, that's something we're going to add in the future, Brian. Yes. All right. And again, we're going to be opening packs until we get a holographic. So let's see what we got here. First pack for 12 days of A Drive. Day seven, baby. Celebrating the grading authority and our new co ownership of the brand new premier grading company for Pokemon Sports and more. Let's get that Yanma, baby. We got Spinarak, Poliwag, Kabuto, Caterpie, love it, Natu, Omanite, Teddy Ursa, Unknown. Ruin Wall. Poly Whirl. And the rare and potential hollow. This is pack number 17. Unknown A, non holographic. Lucky you guys, we're doing it again. <laughs> we get to keep going. All right. I do sleeve all of these because they're vintage. So I will be sleeving all these. So bear with me as I do that. Bear with me as I do that. I got the A and the D. Oh my goodness. How about that? How about that? Oh my goodness. Do I plan on grading the hollows from the set? 100%. 100%. What is that for, bro? Or is that the giveaway? Yeah, the 100% we're getting these cards graded. In fact, I'll be real with you guys. The reason why I haven't sent any of my cards in for grading before, you know, the ones I just showed off, is because I've been working so hard to find the right fit to pair up with. To do this so like i said i had this vision going back months and i'm so thankful that it came to fruition with some great people yo julian thanks so much for 10 with some absolutely awesome people too that's one thing too that really stood out to me is the team is they are great people and they have so much passion for sports and pokemon cards and beyond i mean it's it's amazing uh, we are going to hopefully open up grading for packs in the future, yes. But the focus right now is just uh, kind of scaling with the cards. What's up, Pokefan Ram? Thanks for 62. Mitski with four. Nate, honestly, there's been so many new hires, I can't even keep track. But I think it's 15 to 20 right now. People could argue that there's conflict of interest with the opening TC cards and having a grading company. No, not at all. In fact, I think that there's actually opportunities for synergy between my grading company and my card opening or my my card company that sells cards. I think there's a huge opportunity for for synergy there. I don't think there's a conflict at all. And obviously, I've had these conversations with both of my partners, uh, all of my partners that I've worked with. So, I have no fear. We're good. I actually think there's a ton of synergy. It's a great thing. Uh, 
Uh, does this partnership consume a lot of my time or can I manage my streaming schedule? That's one of the beautiful things. I actually feel that this, uh, it's not a partnership, it's co-ownership. I actually feel like this, uh, fits very, very seamlessly into my, into my content. So, um, so that's a big thing. Oh, don't you think, oh yeah, Dan's cards are all tens because he owns TGA. Oh, that's a great point. And I'm so glad that someone brought that up because I, I did want to address that. So let me, let me, let me answer that right now because I think that's very important. My cards will not receive any special treatment. Simple as that. Factual. Um, in fact, we actually had that conversation and we both agreed, obviously very transparently, that that was never going to be the case and that I want my cards to be under the exact same strict grading procedure as anyone else's cards. And I mean, you can see very clearly, I mean, look at all the cards that I have, right? So I got all these cards graded. How many tens are there? Two or three tens? And these are all pack fresh. So I got no special treatment, guys. And I will not get special treatment with my cards. It is at the top priority that, in fact, this card, I'll tell you, this card, um, I actually thought would have been a 10. And it turns out that at the very bottom, with their super good magnifying glasses, you're not going to see it on this camera. But it actually got caught in the crimp at the very bottom, which is what actually hit this. So, um, but no, there will be absolutely zero special treatment for me uh, with any of my grades. Absolutely not. I, I 1 million percent swear on everything that I stand for that that will never be the case. Um, I would not want special treatment. I don't think that would be fair, but it, it's not going to happen. Um, in fact, the person who's grading it, they're, they're not, they, they don't care that it's me. They're going to just grade the cards. So um, they're focused on just upholding the standards. Um, and, and I'm going to get the exact same, exact same treatment. I'm not the one grading the cards. I'm not trained to grade the cards. I will not be grading any cards myself. <laughs> there are people that get very, very, very intense training. They have their TGA 10. They have this huge system in place for training and getting people who are already experts in the Pokemon TCG field uh, to, to be able to make these, uh, these uh, kind of decisions and, and make sure that there's consistency upheld through the entire, uh, the entire company. So um that is not something to worry about no no no. listen i'm very passionate about that i there's not gonna be any special treatment i promise i promise i promise uh that is definitely not gonna be a thing um that is definitely gonna be a thing so so yeah okay All right, let's get to the next uh let's get to the next one are there any job openings there are going to be some, especially if you live in the area. The the uh, the hub right now is uh is in New Hampshire. So if you live in New Hampshire, there's going to be a lot of opportunities actually. So that's actually the one of the biggest things, not to us, and, and I want to just emphasize that one more time because it's very important. One of the biggest things, guys, that I think is so important with a grading company is that when there's a standard in place, which again is is very clearly outlined on the website, when there's a standard in place that is upheld on every single card. Every single card goes through the exact same process, so that way there's consistency. That is incredibly important. That's at the at the foundation of the business. So, all right, this is pack number two here for 12 days of A Drive for today. And ultimately, it is pack number 18 in the box. Pack number 18 in the box. Can I guarantee the safety of the card when it's shipped? So I can tell you that when you ship your card, obviously you're in the hands of UPS, USB, whatever you're shipping with, but the grading authority has uh, insurance for cards. So um, you, you'll have your cards insured and you can choose to have your cards insured for the amount that you think that they're worth. Um, and the business itself is insured if anything happens. I mean, we obviously don't anticipate any of that. So, um, so yeah. Uh, can I get, uh, what was the other question? Um, would a card graded by TGA be as worth as much as a card graded by the PSA? That's a, a question I do not know the answer to right now, Gumi. Uh, I don't think it would be fair to, to compare the two and say that, yes, I think I would be uh, disingenuous or dishonest if I were to say 100% yes, um, because I just don't know the answer to that. I do believe that when more people get their hands on the TGA slabs, they're going to see the, the very clear quality that we have and, and the, the incredible aesthetic, but it's going to take some time in the community before... Um, you know, people kind of get used to seeing this and, and it becomes more popular. I think it will. I genuinely believe it will. I think the slabs themselves speak for themselves. And I think when people see the quality that we have and the price point that we have, they're going to be very impressed. And they're going to be very happy. So, um, I genuinely believe in it, 
But to say it's a one-to-one -one comparison right now, I don't, I don't think that would be fair. We're talking about PSA who's been around for how long? I mean, we're talking about a company that's been around for how many years? 20 years, 30 years, 40 years? I don't know how long they've been around. Um, so is, is, it's not necessarily a fair comparison. So I'm not going to lie to you, but I do genuinely believe that, uh, that TGA is going to be a household name when it comes to the card grading uh, in the next few months. So, All right, let's kick it off, baby. We got pack number two here. Aiming for our holographic. This is pack number 18. You can send cards globally, yes. Here's what we got. We got Weedle on a Leaf. Tyro, baby. Yeah, Weedle on the Leaf is uh, OG Snowm on a Bench. Spinarak on a Web. Kabuto, baby. Polly Wag. Caterpie. Natu. Metapod. Love that Metapod. Kakuna. Getting all the bugs. Could this be the pack? Corsola. And our rare and potential hollow of pack 18. Of 12 days of aid drive. Tracking down our seventh holographic is. Espeon non hollow. Wow. Okay. If I'm going to get a non hollow, I will take this one. Espeon non hollow. We're going to run it back. Woo. We're going to the next one. That's a great card, though. I'm going to send that in at some point. Um, I'm going to send it all of this at some point. I'm going to fill the queue myself, guys. Thank you guys all for the sub love, by the way. Will, Dabs, Pokefan Ram, all you guys, I appreciate it. Sincerely, thank you. And thank you to everyone who's uh, showing the love and uh, submitting your cards to TGA. One of the things I just want to emphasize, guys, one of the ways we're guaranteeing our turnaround times is that we are capping submissions every week. So we are only going to allow so many submissions every week, and we're going to be hiring as many people as we can to scale and getting them through the training process. But it's a process. You know, you can't hire someone and they're, they're not ready the next day, right? I mean... It's weeks of training to ensure that they are holding the standard and the criteria. But we have some great people already that are doing the grading. Um, and they are experts in Pokemon. I mean, these guys have seen hundreds of thousands of cards more than I have. That is for sure. Um, so that's what's going on with that. So if you want to submit your cards and try us out or send in a bunch of cards or whatever, I highly recommend doing it ASAP. Because I have a feeling that when this these uh, slabs get spread around a little bit more, a lot of people are going to see these and uh it's gonna be amazing so it's gonna be awesome stuff it's gonna be awesome stuff very excited how would someone get involved with grading the cards um i i can't speak to opportunities from a, from an employment standpoint but you can obviously send an email Can you send the cards in sleeves? Yeah, yeah. If you watch my video, I actually kind of go through the best practices on how to submit a card. And um, I'm doing the best practice right now, which is a penny sleeve into a semi-rigid card saver or similar. Um, but you can send them in an ETB sleeve. You can send them in, you know, uh, a top loader. I mean, you can send your cards however you want. But this is the ideal situation just because uh, it's the safest way for the grader to actually take the card out. There is a population report. It's just not public yet because it's still being uh, coded. But it, there is a, they are keeping track of all the cards they submit and the grades. And there will be a full population report. And the end goal is that the, um, the, the QR code on the back of the slab will take you to the population report of that card. Which is very, very cool, actually. So, there you go. Okay. We'll grab more more uh, card savers here i think all right so that's pack two for today let me throw that right there let me sleeve this that's not a concern gold member i mean these guys are experts so i, I wouldn't really worry about that okay uh, let me see. How many of these do I have? I, I think I need to just open up another case of these real quick. Hey, 
Thank you, Wolf, for the 90 bits. Appreciate that. I'll show you guys the, the Mewtube right now. The beautiful Mewtube. Does the TGA graded card hold the same value as PSA or Beckett? That's a question we got a lot today, saying, and, and I'm going to give you the honest answer. I don't think it's fair to compare right now because TGA is a new company and those companies have been around for a really long time. I do believe over time that the value will speak for itself and that TGA is going to be uh, hopefully everywhere. I think people are going to really like it. I think we have the premier slab on the market right now. Um, so I genuinely think that that over time, yes. Um, but I don't think it, I don't think it's fair to compare and I don't think it would be um, honest of me to say yes right now. Um, because the value of a, a, a PSA or a BGS slab, it's, it's all perception. That's what it comes down to. It's all what people think it's worth, right? So will TGA one day have that same perception? I, I think so. I think it's very possible. Um, but again, we're, I think you're, I think you're comparing apples to oranges right now because it's 150 to $200 to submit a card right now to PSA and you can submit a card to us for 20 bucks, right? And I think we have the better slab. I think we have the better label. So I mean, that, that's very important. Um, so I wish I had a, a, a better answer than that. I, I have to just be honest about it. I think that's something that um, will come over time. So, you know, I think that it will come over time. And I think it's important to mention, and I have emphasized this a few times today, uh, I didn't join TGA as, as a sponsor, right? This isn't a sponsorship. I am a co-owner of this business. Uh, I, am, I am here, um, I am here to, to help grow this business and and to have it be a part of, of what I do every single day uh, for the long term. You know, I've, I've been creating content now in Pokemon for, for seven, eight years. Uh, I'm not going anywhere, right? In fact, I, I still think I have my best days ahead of me. So I think that that's important too, right? You know, I'm not a fly-by-night content creator that, that shows up and then vanishes. Um, so I think that, that that's important to remember as well. So that we discussed Galaxy, I, I don't want to make any promises on that right now. Um, because I, I, I just am not sure what the ultimate direction is going to be. But it's definitely something that's been discussed. So, yeah. All right. Uh, we're going to jump into our next pack here shortly. And that's going to be very, very epic. It's going to be super cool. So, okay. If anyone has questions, I'm happy to answer them. I'm giving you guys my honest answers to the best of my ability. Um, and, and, you know, that's, that's going to be a big thing is transparency. Um, but I'm very excited for this. I'm very excited for this. And like I said, if you have cards to send in, I would I would highly recommend you send them in ASAP. Um, was CGA a company I created myself? No, no, no. I actually found them. Uh, I found them, and I had been actually looking to uh, partner with a grading company uh, for months now. And I found them, and I immediately, immediate, I'm not even kidding, within seconds, I was like, oh, my God, I need to get in touch with these guys. I need to talk to them because I loved their slabs. I, I thought they were the best slabs I'd seen. Um, and I, I immediately was like, I need to talk to these guys. Um, so this has been on going on for a little bit here. But as soon as I saw their slabs, I, I was like, wow, I really need to talk to these guys. Um, because I genuinely thought that they had exactly what, what I was looking for. And I really felt that they had the best, the best aesthetic. And to me, that's the biggest thing, right? To me, when you're sending your card in to be graded, like what we're talking about here, I think the aesthetic is, is I think the, the uh, consistency and integrity of the grade is, is number one. But aside from that, I think the aesthetic is so important. It's got to look good. Why are you going to spend extra money on your card to protect it and preserve it for you to keep as, as a, you know, a, a piece of treasure in your, in your collection if it doesn't look awesome, right? That's like, that's like the biggest thing. So big excite excitement. So. Uh, no, Nomad, um, they are people who are very passionate about uh, sports cards and, and trading cards and everything like that. So, um, nope. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we're going to throw down for our third pack today for 12 Days of A Drive. This is pack number 19 on our quest to find holographic number seven in our vintage Neo Discovery Box. So let's do it. Really hoping for that Yanma. What a day it would be. I actually have another one gold member. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. We've got a Caterpie. No, Maddie, we're not going to be doing that, but. Okay, we've got a Caterpie here. We've got a Natu. Omanite. Teddy Ursa. 
Whooper? Yes, they did, Zen. Unknown O. Oh. You're sending a Charizard, Shiny Charizard VMAX? Ooh. I don't know, man. I would do red or orange. Larvitar? Unknown D? Zatu? Epic, dude. Polly, we're all waving at you. And our third pack of the day and pack number 19 of this box on our quest for our seventh holographic. It is Polyrath non holo. We're still going, baby. We are still going. Woo! We are still going. Non holographic Polyrath. Uh, the, the yellow is kind of like a gold. It's like gold slash yellow crunky. But no to the other two. I really want to get a bug, guys. You know, we're getting kind of low on the amount of uh, hollows that are left in this box. We're halfway through the hollows. I haven't pulled a single bug yet. You got Rainbow Pikachu VMAX Secret Rare. I have one. I'll show you mine. I went with gold. You can decide if you think the gold looks good. I went with the gold. So I'll let you decide what you think looks best. Uh, every one of the colors is on the website in the little slider uh, on the in the middle of the website. I went with the gold on mine. Um, whether you think that there's a better option, that's that's your call. Um, I went with the gold, though. I thought that that was cool. Did it really, Richard? What uh, browser were you using? Did you download it or did you fill it out in the uh, the web web part? That's very weird. No, it's a, it's a single color. You don't uh, you don't uh, you can't pick two colors. You pick one. Try. I'm sorry, Richard, uh, that that happened. Try downloading it and seeing if that works. That's weird that you had those issues. You sent your Neo Revelation Houndoom to TGA. Yeah, so I did tell my Discord server. I gave them a little bit of a heads up. Uh, so Slowbro, Slowbro got to the uh, the punch pretty quickly there. Good stuff, man. All right. So we get to keep going. Uh, we have not pulled our hollow yet. So we're going to keep this going. Gonna keep it rocking. Oh, am I in the wrong category? What am I in right now? I'm in the Pokemon trading card game. Oh, I'll go to the online one. Oops. There's no, like, category for just opening cards. We're going to run out of packs? No, 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 no. You expect to see 12 hollows in a box. What's up, Paxan? How's it going, man? You expect to see 12 hollows in a box. We've only had six hollows so far. So, we're good. That's the beautiful thing. You know, we get one hollow every time. So we'll keep opening until I get it. Okay. Got through those. Put those bad boys over there. Yeah, I saw her error box. That was nuts. And that was this set too. I was so jelly. I was like, man, what I would have done if I could have had that box. Oh my goodness. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I mean, what that was nuts. That was actually nuts. So, all right, what I want to do here, I'm going to hop into this next, uh, this next pack. I've got this Zatu pack. We're going to do the Zatu pack. Um, I did have some questions that I think people were tweeting at me. I do want to go just, uh, answer a few of those while we're chilling here for a second. Um, and then I'm going to hop into more packs. I'll show you guys some of the slabs in the meantime. Let me get, uh, let me get a couple of the good ones here. I've got, well, they're all good, but this is, this is some of my favorites. I got this Genesect. It'll stand there nicely. And uh, I've got this beautiful Scorch. I love that Scorch. Of course, the light is like shining right on its top of it move the light a little bit there we go um give me a second i'm gonna actually read the answers i do out loud as well uh because i did see some people um you know tweeting me some questions and stuff and i just want to try to give them the answers so let's see here um let's see 
Uh, so I answered that. Let's see here. Um, um, okay, so they, yeah, I answered that. Okay, so yeah, I'll answer that one about the population report. Um, Slowbro sent some cards off. Good stuff. Good stuff. And I see people are obviously very excited about that giveaway. About 700 retweets. If you guys want to do the giveaway, exclamation point, giveaway in the chat. All right, let's do it. Let's get this next pack going here. I want to get, uh, get our hollow. I want to get our hollow for the day. So let's do it. Uh, Eco, I genuinely think that, that we have the best slabs. Um, I think that that's, that's, that's what it is. I genuinely think we have the best slabs. So I'm very excited about them. And uh, that's that. The giveaway is international, yes. So like I said, I'm not really worried about what, what, other, what other companies are doing. Um, that, that's not really the focus. The focus is delivering, um, delivering high quality and, and really capturing why I believe people send their cards in, right? I think people send their cards in one to, to authenticate it, right, and to get to get a grade that is consistent and upheld with a certain level of standard, which I think is incredibly important. But but I also think it's important to to recognize that when you send a card in, you want it to to look good, right? You're preserving this in this amazing case. You want it to look good. That's very important. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, pack number twenty for twelve days of a drive. Neo Discovery celebrating our new co-ownership of the Grading Authority. So let's do it. We got Caterpie, Kabuto, Whooper. Let me get a whoop whoop. That's a bit naive. Too many people want the monetary value increase. And honestly, Cobalt, that's very possible too. That people are looking for just their card to be worth more. Um, but the reality of it is that the other grading companies. They're charging so much per card right now. It's not even feasible. Yes, you can, Richard. You can 100% just print it out and fill it out with a pen. Yes. Sorry that it's being weird. I'll reach out to them and let them know. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why you're having those issues. Uh, yes, it is global. It is global, Cage. But Cobalt, I mean, are you, you, at this point, you're spending $200 per card elsewhere. We're $20 a card. And if you send bulk, it's 15 And that's a 30-day turnaround. That's incredible. Teddy Ursa. Unknown O. Centrit looking super happy. Hop it. Corsola. Unknown D. And that's another thing, too. Trent, you brought up a good point. I'm going to stop mid pack here. There is no price increase for rare cards. Some of the other companies, if you send in a card and it, let's say it ends up worth being $1,000, they charge you more. Because it's worth a lot. Which I think is ridiculous. Um, there is no hidden costs. There are no extra fees. You could send in a card that's worth $10, $1,000, a $1 million. There's no extra cost if your card is worth a lot. That's not a thing. Zatu. And the rare and potential hollow for pack number 20 of 12 Days of A-Drive. Celebrating the grading authority. Hey, thank you. Hey, a drive for the ten dollars. I'm glad you like shoddy splash. Will it be a hollow? This is our fourth pack of the day. Holographic Oprah! Oh my god! Wow! And it's got a hollow bleed on the Umbreon! Oh! 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 Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I gotta sleeve this. Hold on, let me sleeve before I do anything. Wow. 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 Double sleeve. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The centering is really good. Okay, that's a good start. The centering is incredibly good. I see no print lines. 
Is that a print line? No. I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe a print line. Maybe there's a print line. That's really good. How's the back? How's the back? A uh, little bit of whitening on that bottom corner there. So it's not going to be a, 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 an immaculate. And a little bit of whitening up there. This is a really clean card. This might be a 9, maybe 9.5. TGA Drive, I'm going to give this a 9. I am not the one who does the grading. <laughs> TGA Drive is going to give this one a 9, but wow, this is really good. Maybe a 9.5. I'm a little harsher. I remember when I uh, when I got my first slabs back, I guessed them all before I got them. And I guess I underguessed them all, so. Wow. I will probably have the first, first edition Umbreon submitted. Dude, it, so Saturn, you know better than I do. Is that a hollow bleed? The hollow is on the Umbreon itself? Wow. Wow. That's incredible. Wow. What a treat. What an absolute treat. I will say that if there was a card in this box that I was going to get that wasn't, excuse me, wasn't the bugs, it was this one. Yes, they will grade Yu-Gi-Oh. Wow. Wow. That is incredible. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this card. I'm so excited about this card. Wow. Guys, we really did it. We really just got an amazing pull. I mean, listen, I, I want those bugs. Don't get me wrong, but I also wanted this Umbreon. Uh, my favorite evolution by far. Wow. That's incredible. Oh my gosh, guys. That is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow. Darwin, baby. Wow. I can't believe we just got this over on. It's so clean. I feel like I gotta I gotta push it up so you can see the hollow on it. Hold on. There we go. That's a little bit better. Oh man. What a win. What a win. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Libs, Rhino Man. Appreciate everybody showing the love. Thank you guys. You guys have been incredible today. I really appreciate it all. And I thank everybody who's checking out TGA and submitting submitting your cards and throwing down. Uh, very excited for the future, guys. I'm very excited for the future. I mean, we are we are going to be crushing it, and uh, we're changing the game. Like I said, we are changing the game for Pokemon card authentication and beyond. The grading authority, baby. I mean, you can't beat it, dude. We came through. I think we have the best slabs on the market. Our prices are phenomenal. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing stuff. Thank you, Alpha. Thank you so much. Heck yeah, dude. That's such a win! I can't believe it! Okay. You know what I don't have? I've been... I... Uh, I saved it. Don't worry. I wanted to write on the back of this. I gotta find my, my uh, Sharpie. I have a gray. I'm gonna do purple. Because I can't find my black Sharpie right now. I don't know where it is. I should always be right over there. Oh, no, here it is. There we go. Okay. All right. So I always like to write it down. I always like to write it down. So this is day seven. And I'll recap here in a second. This is day seven. Day seven. Uh, July. July. 
19. 2021. Pack number 20. TGA. There it is. So, I wrote it down. Day 7, July 19th, Pack 20, TGA. I'm going to let this dry for a second, and I'm going to move the Umbreon over into that sleeve. I didn't want to write it while it was on there. Uh, you, yeah, you got you to gotta create your own shipping label, um, Powers Richard. So, the way you can do that is, is just by going to the post office and getting one. Um, you can also use a program like Shippo online to do it. There's a couple different ways. So... You just follow me on Twitter? Thanks, man. So I'm going to get this sorted later. I'll move that over. I want to let that dry. Um, what an absolute win today, ladies and gentlemen. 12 days of A-Drive. Day 7, our 7th holographic in the, in the books. Incredible. 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 I mean, that's some great stuff right there. That's some great stuff right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. We're not done today, by the way. We're not done today. Yes, when you yes, when you pay, you're paying for the shipping coming back to you, correct? Yep. So that's what you're paying for when it when you go through the checkout process, you're paying for the shipping to come back. So wow. Whew. We're we're actually discussing that, Phantom. We're discussing that. Oh, baby. Okay. Well, guys, listen. Uh, today is a day of celebration. I don't music play. I know. I know. Today is a day of celebration. Do you know what we're celebrating? Hey, Steven, thank you so much. You just sent in 20 cards to TGA. So here's what we're going to do. I think it's only fair. I'm going to make a nice display here in the back, and we're going to do something really epic. Make a nice little display here for now. Just throw some, some of the boxes back there. I like to do it because it makes the... <clears throat> it's not the flags. It's not the flags. It's for lighting, actually. It's more for lighting than anything. Because the light behind it kind of bleeds through. So I always make like a little wall of vintage boxes. Don't mind me. Okay. Okay. Let me pick a couple slabs to put back here. Uh, this, um, this Umbreon front and center. Looking so good. Um, I grab my Senti. I think that looks really clean. Okay. Well, guys, here's, here's what we have planned for today. Is this zoomed in at all? No. You guys can't see it because of the way the camera's set up. But I'm going to take a picture for Twitter. Because I have five boxes of vintage, Vivid Voltage that we we're about to open up. I'll put the Pikachu in the front. I think that's a good idea. I'll tweet this out. Let me tweet this. Okay. So we're about to throw down, guys. I've got five boxes of Vivid Voltage. Five. I am going to be opening up Vivid Voltage until I pull Rainbow or Beetle or until I run out of boxes. I only have five. I say only. That's still five. That's a lot. That's a lot. 
That's a lot of boxes. There are two chase cards that I'm looking for. There are two different order forms, two different PDFs with different fields for the submission. The one on the main page is 20 columns. The submission from the download up. Check it only on 15 columns. Can you ask them to update the older one? Yeah, give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna send that right now as a text message. Give me a second. I'm gonna just obviously I'm not gonna type all that out, but I will I will send a picture of it. I just texted that to them, so I will let you know. Um, thank you for the, the, the feedback. Sorry for the, the issues. Um, okay, so I am going to be opening up Vivid Voltage. We are aiming to get Rainbow or Beetle. Just texting chat straight to business. Hey, we got we to gotta do what we got to do. Uh, we are aiming for this uh, Rainbow or Beetle. So we're going to be opening up box of Vivid Voltage until... Oh, you know, I, I just tweeted that but didn't tweet it with the picture. How dumb is that? That's so dumb. That's so dumb. I'm repost. I'm going to delete the tweet and post it again. Cause it's, it's got to have the picture. That's the whole point. I forgot the picture. Okay. Now I got the picture. There we go. For, I took a picture and then I forgot to tag it or add it. Okay. I'm looking for that ore beetle, baby. I need the full art ore beetle and the rainbow ore beetle. Let's get it. Let's get it, squad. We're going to be ripping some packs. We're going to be ripping some vivid voltage. And of course, if anyone's looking for cards themselves, you guys go to unpluggamestore.com. We actually have Vivid Voltage in stock, for anyone interested. Let's get it. Predictions? I just hope I get it. That's my prediction. What are we doing? Four? Four to the back? All right, let's get it. Vivid Voltage, baby. Let's get it started. We got an Excadrill. We're going to be we're gonna be moving, by the way. We got a lot of packs to get through. We got a Mudbray, Poochiana, Charmander, Chadot. Cottony. Reverse Charizard on the first pack. <laughs> Into Don Fan. I'll take a reverse Charizard on the first pack. Hello there. Hello there. I gotta clear some room on my desk, guys. We are we are running out of room right now. We are running out of room right now. Alright. Okay. All right, I'll put some music on. All right, let's get it. We got Moo Moo Cheese, Duat, Ferrothor. I want both cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking to get both. C dot, Fan P. There should be a TGA command. Exclamation point TGA. A Heroes Metal and Electrode. There it is. That Electrode looks clean, actually. Hold up. And don't forget, guys, exclamation point giveaway. I've got some big giveaway right now on Twitter. So definitely check out that giveaway. Exclamation point giveaway. All right. We got a Zeb Stryka, Dusclops, Beauty, Voltorb, Rockruff, Talo, Yanma. Thank you so much, Gage. Poochiana and oh full art Zam right away, baby. Let's get it. Full art Alakazam. Alakazam. Nice. And while I'm doing this opening, guys, happy to take questions. If anyone has any questions or anything you want to ask about TJ, I'm happy to do my best to uh, to answer you guys. So anything I can do, anything I can answer. That's a nice pull. I'll set that aside. Keep it going though. It's not the ore beetle. It's not my beetle. The Neo Hollow was uh, Hollow Umbreon. It was beautiful. So, thank you so much, Nomad. The giveaway is not USA only. It's a global giveaway. 
Duskull, Electrike, Pinecone, Milkery, and Samurott. My Southern Island Binder is here, yes. I have my Southern Island Binder. Pretty new, N9. I think if you give it... Give it four to six weeks, N9, and I think you're going to see him everywhere. So... Mega Reptar, thank you for the 10, baby. What's going on? I love this EV. Reverse Yanma. Clefable. Uh, Bulldozer, they, they kind of become obsolete. So they're great for collecting Bulldoze. But T Pokemon TCG does what's called a power creep. So older cards are not nearly as good as the newer cards. They just get stronger over time. We got a Riolu. Do you have a minimum for cards to send in? Nope. We got a Garbodor. You can send in one card. You can send in 20 cards. You obviously get bulk discounts. So you can't do that, Coop. You know that. <laughs> Will, that's a great question. And I think over time, we are going to be putting out content like that where we go through the process and kind of kind of explain that stuff. So... Uh, I would, I'm actually not sure on that, Marvin. I would say whatever it says on the website, if that's not an option. Thank you, Sirplex. Zara Aura? Metagross. It's only credit, yeah. What's the rarest card I own? My value in terms of cards is not in cards themselves, it's in sealed boxes. I have a couple sealed boxes that are incredibly rare. Maybe ammo? Hey, what's up, Steve? That's so weird. Who is actually doing the grading? There's a couple people who are currently working for the company that are doing the grading, and they specialize in Pokemon. There's people who specialize in sports, but there's also people who specialize in Pokemon. Um, and they are people who have a lot of experience in Pokemon TCG, and they go through a very rigorous training process to ensure that the standards that are upheld. So, I have that still, Jack. Uh, Coop. I told Jack, I'm like, hey, Jack, you open to me uh, sending this in? <laughs> It's $20 per card unless you do the bulk option. Yeah. Which is very, very inexpensive. Uh, some of the other companies right now are charging $200 per card. So. And the rare? Tornadus. I really haven't opened a lot of Chilling Rain, to be honest. May I ask the bulk option? It's on the website. It's $15 a card if you go over 20. Uh, trade, that's something I'll bring out to the team. I really, I really don't know right now. But that would be cool. Do I think other streamers will be using my TGA service? There already are streamers that have, have uh, submitted today. And, and I did give a couple people a heads up about this. Um, so I think that people are definitely going to take a look at it. And there is a Darmanitan VMAX. What do they mean by non-grading authenticated? So you can actually send your card in. I mentioned this in my video. Go check out my YouTube video. But you can send a card in. And instead of it getting a, a, uh, a number... Let me see if I can find the muck real quick. Where's the muck? There's the muck. So, like, I submitted this muck, right? And it got a really bad grade because it's beat up. It's got a corner there. It's all messed up. The edges are all... I wanted to see how low of a grade I would get, right? And, um... It, let's say you have a card that, that's your, your favorite card as a kid, right? Um, and you know it's going to get a bad grade. And you don't want it to have a bad grade. You can actually get it with a label that you choose the color. And it'll be authenticated. And it won't have a grade. It'll be a little bit of a different label. Um, but I actually don't have one to show you. But as soon as I have one, I will show you guys. Um, and you can submit that. And you can have it just be authenticated for cheaper. Which means that they put it in this beautiful case. They put the cool label on it. Color you choose. But they don't have to go through the process of grading it. Which is why it's cheaper, right? So you don't have to uh, You don't have to, have to do that. So. I think I'm going to stand up, actually. Back's kind of hurting today. Yes, you can mix and match. If you want to send in 10 sports, 10 Pokemon, you can. Yes, you can. So if you wanted to have a grade, you are forced to pay. Well, no one's being forced to do anything. The standard option is to have your card graded. We, at, we have an option that you can choose to just get it authenticated and not graded, which is less money. 
TGA was around before. I found them, ZD Reaper. Are there still base set packs? I would probably sell maybe two or three more. There's no discount codes. No, I think our prices are very, very good. I'll let you guys know about that, Wacko. Not right now, though. There is a Darmanitan V. Darmanitan V. Yeah, I, I don't think there's going to be any discount codes uh, right now or anytime soon. The prices are already incredibly good. I mean, they're about as low as they could go. <laughs> so... All right, what do we got here? I feel like my zoom is a little off here. All right, we got a Zip Striker. Yes, you can do international. Yes, you can do international. We got a Meowth, Cottony, Aracuda, Reverse Torn, and Aegislash V. Correct, Toad. Exactly. It's a no-brainer, man. And like I said, when you look at our slabs... I really feel like we have the best slab designs. The color option is incredible. This is the future of grading. Uh, we're working on the form Jackson and the website and stuff. So you obviously do that when you go for the checkout, but just put a note in your form. Um, the, the end goal guys, and it, it'll hopefully be very soon, is that you won't have to fill out the form in the future. You'll do it all on the website. So that's the plan. It's just, we're, it's being coded right now. It's like 80% done. So, there's a Quagsire. Is it $20 per card or per bulk order? It's $20 per card. If you send over $20 a card, it'll be $15 a card. Or if you send over 20 cards, I'm sorry, it goes to $15 a card. When you go to check out, you pop in how many cards you want, and it'll automatically calculate the discount if you get bulk. But it's $20 per card to be authenticated. Can I do a close-up of the slabs? I can, but what I'd recommend... I'll show you this, Umbreon, real quick. What I recommend, though, is just checking out my YouTube video. Uh, do we have a link to that? Maybe Marvin, exclamation point, TGA video or something? Or TGA vid? I really... Uh, I, I would recommend you check out the... Uh, check out the uh, the video, because that, that gives the full perspective. I show off the slabs in, in really... Like, really, uh, you know, good, good imaging and everything. So... We have the highest quality printers, lips, the whole shebang. We got Trubbish, Dynamo, Clobopus, Woobat, Talo, Energy, and Toucan. Yeah, it makes me maybe exclamation point submit. We'll figure something out, right? Come on, give me Rainbow War Beetle. Charmeleon, Telescopic, Mightyena, Eevee, Trubbish, Shuppet, Choodle, Riolu, Winden, and Regirock. Uh, Reaper, I did not, but that's really awesome. <laughs> I will pull mine eventually, Reaper. I will. I will pull mine. Are the cards in the background from today? They're from my announcement today. Uh, but no, I did not open graded cards today, no. <laughs> hey, Tommy, you're going to submit that Slow King, bro? That's going to be sick. Uh, any hot product on plug? We got Chilling Rain. We got Vivid Voltage. Yeah, I mean, we've got all the good stuff right now. Anything you could want right now, pretty much. Charmeleon and Barrascuda. Yes, yeah, so you can submit Yu-Gi-Oh as well. And the Yu-Gi-Oh will have the color options. It'll be a slightly different slab, but you can do the, the color. I will admit the slabs look amazing. Actually poops on the other guys. I got you, N9. <laughs> I'm glad you feel the same way. So. You got a first edition Dark Paladin. Oh my God, send that in. Yeah, Coop, I'm really excited. I actually told them that you were likely sending that in. Did you pick red, Coop? We got a Trubbish and... Yes! Full Art Ore Beetle! One of my chase cards! Let's get it! Yo! That's one of them. That is one of them. Aw, uh, it's a beautiful day when A-Drop gets a chase card. Full Art Ore Beetle V. One of 
my number one chase cards of the set. We are down to just two cards that are one card left. Wow. Very excited about that. Very excited about that. I'm going to sleeve that in a second. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Sorry, let me just look at something real quick. Um, I got to figure out where I just put all those sleeves because I got to sleeve this. Definitely going to send this in. Let's do a... Uh, Let's do a TGA drive here real quick. I'm going to eventually get all my bug cards graded. So let me sleeve this and we'll do a little TGA drive on it. See what we got here. Today is a good day. That Umbreon was hype. Yeah, today is a good day. Let's see what we got here. You picked red? Yeah. All right, give me a second. Clear those. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. Centering looks really solid. What's the back look like? Honestly, pretty good. Uh, maybe uh, it's not bad. This is actually pretty good. Actually, pretty good. That actually looks really clean. Hold up, <laughs> that looks really clean. You can see the mark on my. Th this is. I got stung by a bee. Look at that. That's this little spot on my my ring finger. Um, that looks really good. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna give it a nine and a half, ten. I feel like that's really good. You can sit no no, no car I go check out my YouTube video, Dev. But um card savers are the ideal scenario. But you can submit um You could submit uh in a top load or whatever works for you. But yes, uh the ideal the ideal submit is um is in a card saver, yes. Um I have to just update our layout here, guys. Give me a second, I'm gonna update our layout. Um, to represent that I just got that Orbital. One of our chase cards. Very big. Very, very big. Um, let's see here. Which one is this that I need to do? Okay, it's not that one. It's not that one. It's this one? Yep. Okay. And let me do... Image Hue saturation. Nope, wrong button. Saturation goes down. And boom. Ah, oh, hold up. The other ones aren't like that either. Hold up. Sorry, I don't have access to my uh, keyboard right now because. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there you go. You can just click desaturate. That's nice. Image adjustments. Desaturate. Okay. So all we are looking for is... We're just looking for that rainbow, baby. Of course. Who would have thunk it? I've gotten two rainbow chonkachus. Now I just got to get the orbital. <laughs> hey what's up uh target how's it going man and of course if anyone's looking for cards yourself obviously today we're celebrating tga but if you guys are looking to pick up your own pokemon cards you can go to unpluggamestore.com we actually have vivid voltage in stock some of the best prices you're gonna find online we got a picky and a metagross oh just whack the camera Give me a second, sorry. There we go. You're submitting a full art Mega Charizard Y from Evo. Ooh, I like it. That's very nice. Yeah, me and rainbow cards, man. I I, I have a tendency to uh to get some of the, the best and worst, right? We got oh amazing rare Raikou, baby! Hey, our first amazing rare of the day. I was waiting for that to pop up. I was like, we're going to get an amazing rare Raikou eventually, or amazing rare in general. That's amazing right there. Literally. And, and figuratively. <laughs> nice Raikou. We take those. Is the WBE coming back? Probably not anytime soon. It's really not a focus right now, man. So... 12 days of A drive is all over, man. We got an Umbreon. A 
beautiful Umbreon. We got the Umbreon. Now I just need to get the Rainbow Rare Orbital VMAX. Yeah, Casey, for sure, for sure. Orbital V! I got I got one of those already, but I'll take it. <laughs> hey, thank you, Kilo. Thank you, C Blaze. Shot at Gyarados. What's up, everybody? Sorry, I've been the worst at, at thanking everyone today, but thank you. I'm just gonna run this into the uh, the card stash real quick, just so it doesn't bulk up too much on my desk. We're doing a lot of card openings today. Unless I get the rainbow real quick, but. Uh, what's up, Blaze? Kilo, thank you guys. Appreciate all the love. Well, will the next set be available on pre-order? Just had that conversation this morning. In the next probably three weeks. Yep, we're going to have the next set on pre-order in the next probably three weeks. That's the hope. It's coming. We just got some allocation from one or two distributors. So we're trying to have those conversations, obviously. And, uh, you know, we're going to be able to put up a, some pre-orders for you guys. Um, we obviously are going to be conservative with it because we don't want to oversell. But... CDOT, FanP, Shuppet, Pooch, Nessa, and Flareon. That's a beautiful Flareon, by the way. Incandescent Awakening. I love that, the name of that. Incandescent Awakening. That's great. That's great stuff. That Snorlax is legit. It really is, isn't it? I'm just going to raise my desk a little bit. Oh, that's definitely better. Okay. Zeb Stryka, Dusclops. We got Eevee, C Dot, Electri, Clefairy, Fan P. Nice Ponko. And Lycan Rock. Uh, Tober, I have like these big um, kind of card storage things that I use. Alright, Rainbow War Beetle, where are you at? I really want to get this thing, man. That's my last chase card in Vivid Voltage. Swoobat, Excadrill, Clob, Electrike, Execute, Eevee, Woobat, Charmander, and Waylord. Yo, that's a sick card. Shout out to Waylord. He's got a little Whalmer with him, too. Vivid Volt is a great set. It's a great set. Probably tomorrow, Fonzo. Got an Energy, Mag, Nessa, Swellow, Eevee, Trubbish, Shuppet, Choodle, Riolu. Nice Shuckle. Thumbs a cop. So I'm curious. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we got a lot of people still hanging out here. I appreciate everyone hanging out. Um, I'm curious. How many of you guys have submitted or are planning to submit to TGA? Uh, if, you, if, you're, if you're planning to submit to TGA, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and... Uh, you know what you're thinking and if, if maybe you don't want to submit, you know, maybe why you know what, what I'm kind of trying to get some some thoughts here, but hopefully uh, there's a nice Zapdos and a Zarud very nice Very nice. Look at that Zarud looks really cool So just submitted some of your cards. Thank you variable Getting your cards set aside for today. Yeah, I would definitely try to do it as soon as possible guys because like I said We can only take so many submissions a week so we can guarantee those turnaround times so Thank you, Marina. I love that. You just had your order placed? Yes, exactly. Yeah, once your order is placed and you have an invoice, you're locked in. Um, so you're good to go. That's the good news. So, You can do Japanese cards, Creepin', yes. And obviously, if you have sports cars, guys, you can do all sorts of stuff. It's not just Pokemon. I'm going to be focusing on the Pokemon because that's what I do. But they do sports cards, too. In fact, they've actually taken on more sports cards up to this point than they have Pokemon cards. Um, they have a really clean sports label, but I love the Pokemon label because the color options and all that good stuff It's really nice So, Correct. They just they've re recently just hired uh, Honestly, Nate, I had no idea that he was doing something. I have no idea. So We got Beldum, Milkery, Wooper, Chime, and Xplode 
I, I'm gonna say though, Nate, I, I had I had no idea that that was even a thing. I, like I said, I'm focused on what I'm doing. Um, but that's gotta be tricky because it'll be based outside of the USA, right? So you can send in Magic the Gathering as well, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep. All right, we got Rocky Helmet, Galvantula. Oh, it's over. It's gonna be great. It'll be so great to have those, uh, those that. So. Oh, nothing official. So you're speculating. Oh, look at that ninja ass. It's speculation right now. All right. Yeah, girl, and that's exactly it. I, for me, one of the things that I was uh, really excited about with this this new endeavor is I feel like there's a, a whole group of people who are new to Pokemon TCG that simply cannot have their cards graded because it's just it's not feasible. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend two hundred dollars a card. I'm it's just ridiculous. Uh, who's gonna spend two hundred dollars a card? Like that's ridiculous. Um. So I think there's, there's that, right? I think there's a whole group of people who are new to grading who maybe have never graded before. And, and one of the things I want to do is try to take some of the fear out of that. Some of the concern over what the process is and stuff. And I'm going to make another video going a little bit more in depth on how to grade. Um, but I also think there's a huge selection of vintage cards that people want to get preserved. You know, your childhood binder that you dug up that has some cards in it that may be a little bit beat up. And you just want to get them graded so you have them in your collection. That's, that Snorlax is so clean. So clean. Um... So I feel like what we're doing with TGA is really for everybody, you know? Uh, it's really it's really with every for everybody because, you know, with a new collector, the collector that's been around for a long time. And listen, people brought up some really good points. They said, you know, A-Drive, can you guarantee that TGA is going to be as valuable as a PSA? No, I can't. I can't guarantee that, man. That would be unfair for me to say. I'm not I'm not trying to not trying to bamboozle anybody here, right? The reality of it is it's it's going to come down to what people perceive. And I think that over time People will see that TGA is going to uphold their standard and that they have the best display. And to me, I, I, I feel like that's so important, man. I feel like that's so important. I feel like having a slab that looks super clean is, is so crucial, man. Because you get to protect your card and you want it to look good. And I mean, listen, I'll show you the comparison. And I showed it to you guys earlier. This is a PSA slab. This is a, I actually had this gifted to me. I didn't, I didn't even get this myself. Uh, this is a PSA slab. You look at the top. It's a white box with a red border. That's what it is. Okay? This is my Umbreon, which is a blue. I chose blue, and it is an incredibly beautiful slab to match the color. And then again, thinking through the whole process, the blue on the back matches the blue on the back. It's beautiful. TGA stands for the Grading Authority. So... There's obviously some subjectivity there. You might think one looks better than the other or whatever, but I genuinely believe that the uh, the, the slabs that we have and, and, and everything that we have is just incredible. So the QR code in the back, the, the end goal is that that QR code can be scanned. Oh, it's hard to see. Yeah, there is a pattern inside the color. It's a honeycomb design. I'll see if I can get you a closer up on that. It's a honeycomb pattern on the inside. If you look on the website, it shows it a little clearer. Can you... Yeah, I'm going to have to change my zoom. Let me do it this way. This actually shows it pretty good. You can see... Actually, this is a really good shot. You can see the honeycomb pattern. It's not just a clean, uh, straight blue. There's, a, there's a, a honeycomb pattern there. It looks very, very good. So... All right. Well, anyway, I, I'm so excited for today, and I just want to thank everybody for, for showing the love. One of the best things you could do right now, and this is for yourself too, is you can retweet my giveaway. Yes, every card gets a special serial number. That is correct. This Umbreon right here, I will tell you. I'll actually show you. I'll do it upside down so you can see it a little bit better. Um, this Umbreon right here, I don't know if you can see. 1108 for Pokemon. You can see it right there. So... Every card gets a special, a unique serial number, so you'll know. And again, that QR code, the goal is that it scans to the population report for that particular card. Um, the population report isn't public yet, that's all. Fairy and Shaman. 
Uh, population report takes a lot of coding. So they're, they're keeping track behind the scenes. So. What color would I use for Shiny VMAX Charizard? I will go look at mine real quick and I'll give you an answer. Just gotta figure out where it is. Oh, it's over here. That's a great question. Ooh, that's tough. I would say I would probably either go orange or red. I would go orange or red. I'll give you two. I'll, get, I'll show you the two slabs as well. Um, let me find a nice orange. The Charizards are the ones that, yeah, here, here they are. Yeah. So this is, here you go. This will, this will give you a good understanding. So that's what it would look like with orange. There is no black option. No, not not at this moment. I I, I don't want to say anything about that because yeah, I, I don't know if there's gonna be a black option. That's been a very very big debate. Um, I'm gonna say at this moment no. And I, I wouldn't wait for it either. <laughs> and there's red. I think orange. I think orange. I think there's a great great opportunity to see though. I, I would go, I would go orange. I think the orange looks really good. Or you could do gold. Yeah, you could do the gold. Let me show you the gold. Kind of matches his belly a little different. But you could do the gold. Oh, the, actually, that looks really good. Hold up. The gold looks so good. Wait a minute. That might be the secret tech, actually. That might be the play. You might want to go gold. Yeah. That might be the play. So, ultimately, your call. But I just gave you the other ones. You could, you could rewind if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> want to see again um the gold looks good actually i didn't you know sometimes you don't think it right away but yes you can submit japanese cards there's actually someone who does grading on the team that reads and speaks japanese so that's even that's that's awesome stuff too um so josh there is going to i, I can't say too much about it but there is a step above a 10 with tga and it's the immaculate label there's an amazing rare zamazenta and the immaculate label is unique. I, again, I don't want to spoil too much. When I get my own, I will show it. And into a Colossal. Zamazenta and Colossal. So, Gun, we do have all the different uh, colors on the website. So, that's good. On the, on the, You can see all the different colors that are offered. But I agree with you on that, Gun. Those opportunities are great. We got an energy, stun fisk. Did you pay 200 bucks a card, Janky? Or 150 a card? Skidoo, Shuppet, Pharisee, Voltorb, and Bennett. And you did. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Well, you can send in an, uh, you know, an, another round with us if you got anything else you want to submit. And then you can kind of take a look at the two when you're when you get them all back and I don't know how long it's gonna take you but to get the other ones back but we're gonna be guaranteeing our 30-day business day turnaround so right now Jones we are not doing subgrades that's what it's called we're not doing subgrades something we've discussed but right now we're not gonna be doing subgrades Pinkurchin and Beedrill so that's the end of the first box um, I'll recap what we got out of that first box All right, so I'll set this one aside. Here's our pulls from box number one. No rainbow. We got a Zamazenta, Colossal, Zarud, Orbeetle, Raikou Amazing, Aegislash, Darmanitan, Darmanitan VMAX, and then Full Art uh, uh, Alakazam. But the big win is I did get my Full Art Orbeetle, which was one of the my big chase cards. So I'm very glad that I was able to get this. No secret rare, but I did get one of my chase cards. So... I'll take that. You know, I'll take the win on that one. And I'm going to box number two. We're still going. Box number two. Chasing Rainbow War Beetle. That Orbeetle pack is sneaking out over there. You see that? Sneaking. All 
All right. Now, you know what I want to see real quick before I start? Let me just check this real quick. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a memory capsule. That was my last vivid voltage plug. I got a secret rare memory capsule. Oof. Whooper, Whismer, Drillbur, Sableye, and Lucario. One step at a time. What could be next after the shop and the grading company? That's a great question, man. And, you know, it's a question I've asked myself, but I think right now I am going to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to put the brakes on. I really want to focus on the things that I'm doing right now. Um, we're going to be opening up the card store to be open to public traffic you know we're gonna be working on spreading the word about tga um you know i really want to focus on those i want to focus on my merch company i think i'm good i think that that's it for now um i think i think i'm, I'm good right now <laughs> there's a nice genesect um what's the debate uh wacko i wish i could give you more more insight on that um that'll kind of reveal itself over the next week or two on its own so There's a very specific reason, and, and you might be able to guess, uh, but I don't want to speak too much about that, so. Uh, and as of course, if you guys are looking for your own Pokemon cards, you guys can go to unpluggamestore.com, exclamation point TCG. We actually have some of the best prices online. So, where's the card store located? Oh, that's good news, too. We legitimately just um, just got the lease today for the card store, the new lease. We're actually, we're actually getting a different location than the one we already have because we really want to make this card store amazing. Um, so to the best of my knowledge, we are actually taking over an old Walgreens and our store is going to be 4,500 square feet of card store. It is going to be incredible. And I think right now the plan is to launch and open in September. So we, we are building unplugged. Like we are going to be the premier card store of the future. And, and we genuinely believe that that's a possibility and that is what we are working towards so i appreciate you guys anytime you're ever looking for cars just check us first i'm not even telling you you have to buy just check us first that's all i'm asking for we have great prices secret rare Rikuru! <laughs> wow wow shiny orangaroo dixie is here wow how about that? How about that? Centering a little pushed off to the right there. Back looks good. Centering stuff on the back too. A little bit of whitening on the top there. But a beautiful secret rare nonetheless. There you go. All I got yeah, it seems like all I gotta do is shout out my uh my 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 cards, right? And then I get good pulls. That was the, the Orbital pack sneaking out, wasn't it? Um, yes, the store is still going to be in New York. Yes, yes, yes. So Nice Oranguru there. So I'll give you guys more details on that soon, but it is in the works. Um, we got a lot of crazy things going on. So, Yes, Tover. We're going to be streaming a lot of Unite, bro. It's going to be great. So I think Unite has a system where I can like open a lobby and people could just join. So we'll see. Yanma and Electros. Thank you, Anthony. It's TGA Drive, baby. TGA Drive. Unite comes out on Wednesday. And someone asked in the chat what those slabs are. Those are the Grading Authority slabs. My new company called the Grading Authority. You can submit your cards to the Grading Authority for very good prices and super fast turnaround times. Type exclamation point TGA in the chat. And just a reminder, check out my giveaway, guys. Nice B drill. I have a giveaway right now for three TGA slabs, three Charizards. All you gotta do is like retweet a couple quick things. It's very easy. So definitely check out my giveaway, exclamation point giveaway in the chat. That's it, Big Bob. That's it. I mean, you got it, so. You got it. What's up, Mike? Hey, thanks for nine. What's going on, man? Can I explain what the bulk program is? It's very simple, man. If you're submitting more than 20 cards, you get a discount. That's it. Instead of spending $20 per card, it's $15 per card if you send in bulk. That's all. You can send up to 100 cards. If you want to send more than that, you have to email them. Uh, Pokinar, we are working on synergies there, for sure. But we got to get the store open first. 
so it, it wouldn't be f so th there is there is hopes to have synergies between TGA and unplugged um, but again we got to get the store open first so let's let's focus on that <laughs> so it's something we talked about Texan I, I don't want to make any promises right now so uh, what do you mean collectibles we got a Weedle, we got a Talo, Electric, and Zara Aura. Like collectibles that you're talking about, uh, stores that are already partnered with TGA, or? All right, we got a Delmize, Stunfisk. So we already got a Seeker in this box, so I'm not. I'm not convinced I'm getting my Orbital in this box, but we're going to keep doing it. There's a Togekiss VMAX. Uh, by the way, honestly, my, I would say I would tell, I re reach out to Jason or Mark, but um, I don't see why it would. We're going to be pretty conservative on, on the amount that we're taking in right now to ensure that we can handle the demand. And we're going to be um, really, really um, kind of focused on, on scaling, obviously, um, now that these are kind of getting out there. I don't think that's a concern, but I would definitely talk to them. Um, but I don't see why it would be a concern to be honest so we Got Pharisee, Joltik, Sandile, Cdot, Picky Peck, Excadrill, and Flareon and 508 very glad to have you on board by the way um, I know there's a handful of stores uh, It seems like you're as well uh, that have already you know partnered up with TGA and I really feel like we are gonna be the future of grading um, And I'm so excited for it and uh, glad to see that you guys are on board early. I'm sure you guys saw the slabs and you were instantly enamored just like I was. So glad to hear that. Uh, beer, thanks for the seven, man. Dude, I appreciate you, Pokemon and Beer. Thank you, man. So we got Skiddy, Reggie Rock, and oh! What? What? Let's go! I just said that I wasn't gonna get it! And we got it! In the same box! In the same box! Yes! My final Vivid Voltage Chase card! Orbital VMAX! Rainbow Rare! We did it! Wow! What? Holy shenanigans! Oh my gosh! I legitimately said we are opening boxes until I run out of packs or until I get this thing. And I legitimately get it on the second box in the same box with a secret rare. And I just said I probably am not going to get the Orbeetle in this box because I just got a secret rare. Yo, that centering is pretty good. Maybe a little pushed off to the right. Wow. Our final chase card of Vivid Voltage. I am done with Vivid Voltage. Let's go. Let's go! What a win! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. After going 3,000 packs for Butterfree, I'm so glad that I did not have to go 3,000 packs for this. Wow. Wow. Guys, we legitimately just got both of our chase cards of Vivid Voltage I needed. I am done with Vivid Voltage. <laughs> I am done with Vivid Voltage, thank you! <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. How many packs I did for Voltage? I don't know how many I did. Um, I don't know how many boxes I did at Voltage. Maybe 10 or 15 boxes? Maybe 10 or 15? I don't know. Wow! Can you buy a box? No, you know what I'm gonna do? I actually just had a great idea. Just this second I had a great idea. You know what I'm gonna do, guys? I just thought about this. Cause I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, I have these, I have extra boxes of Vivid Voltage now that I that I, I don't I wasn't gonna open. I have an in, ingenious idea. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wait, because we're doing the giveaway right now for Charizard. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw up a giveaway and it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna just put the rainbow Pikachu with a box of Vivid Voltage. What kind of give I mean that would be a great giveaway. So that's what we're gonna do with that. We're gonna we're gonna figure something out with that. Um It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Um that's gonna be awesome. So I'm super stoked. So you guys need to follow me on Twitter if you haven't yet. We're gonna be doing some crazy giveaways. And and actually I am gonna be stepping up my giveaway game, by the way. Because a lot of 
what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna be real. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. A lot of what I want to do to get the TGA slabs in front of people because I think we have the best slabs. But people gotta see it. They gotta see the slab. So one of the ways I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna be doing a lot of giveaways. I'm pretty much planning anything that's not a bug and Umbreon probably. I'm probably gonna be giving away because I want I want to get these slabs in front of people. So retweet my giveaways. Go follow TGA. We're gonna blow this up. We're gonna make this the future of Pokemon card grading and beyond. That's what we're gonna do. But I'm gonna give away that Chonkachu. Uh, and by the way, this is this is a pretty valuable card, right? Like, I'm just going to take the L on these. I'm just going to be giving these away. Because, again, I want to get these in front of people. And, yes, it is a oh, international giveaway. Uh, I, I want to get these slabs in front of people. I really feel like we have the best slabs. So I want to get these in front of people. I want people to see how awesome our product is. And uh, we're going to be doing some amazing, amazing giveaways. So keep an eye on that. I got what I wanted today. Today was a massive win. I don't know if y'all realized it. But today was an insane win. I legitimately did 12 days of A-Drive, got this Hollow Bleed Umbreon, and then I managed to get my two chase cards if it voltage that I needed, Rainbow Orbeetle and Orbeetle V. I mean, it does not get any better than what we just went down, what went down today. I gotta say, thank you guys. I, I, I am blown away at what happened today. I am so thankful for all the love and support. I'm gonna show you guys the slabs one more time, just to show them off. And that's awesome, Richard. Thank you. Um, show you guys the slides one more time. I'll be back. We're gonna be streaming a lot We got a lot of great stuff planned and uh, unite comes out this week So that's gonna be amazing as well. I'm gonna show you guys some of the slabs we have I'm doing a giveaway right now for three Charizards uh, To launch TGA and you can see here these three Charizards are actually being given away right now on my Twitter. I Got this beautiful Senna Scorch. Hey, let me try to make my camera just a little bit higher. So you see, yeah, it's actually probably perfect. This Umbreon, look at that, how clean the blue looks on the Umbreon. And you can see now, if you're in high quality, you can see the honeycomb design that looks so clean behind the text. So good. Uh, we got a pink slab as well. You got this pink Mew. This one's so good. The Mew tube, purple Mew tube. How good is that? How good is that? I just said I'm going to be giving away this Pikachu. Chonkachu. I'll be giving that away with a box of Vid Voltage next week, probably. This I'm keeping. This is my uh, 10 Butterfree. I'm keeping this. <laughs> I'm going to give away this Phoebe too. At some point. Nice blue Phoebe. Could have went with red, but I went with blue. Thought that was clean. I got this really beat up Muck. I don't know if I'll give this away, but maybe I'll send it to Huffy. Um, <laughs> I got this nice blue uh, Eevee hidden, hidden, uh, hidden Fate Shiny Volt. This I'm keeping. Sorry. <laughs> Shining Genesect. I got a 9. I'm going to send in another one, too. Um, I got this beautiful gold poi pole here. Very nice. I'll give that away. And I've got my Senna Scorch as well. I'm keeping that. So That's the rundown, team. Exclamation point giveaway. Go submit your cards to TGA. If you're looking to pick up cards, go to UnpluggedGameStore.com. We're done with the Vivid Voltage, baby. What a win. What an announcement. Thank you, guys, so much for all the love. Throwing down for TGA today. I'm going to go answer a bunch of tweets because there's a lot of people who are asking. If you want to see my full video on how to submit and why you should submit to TGA, go check out the video, exclamation point submit. That should be there. Um, go show some love, guys. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And a big thank you so much for all the support. I mean, you guys have been incredible today. That's that for me, guys. I'm going to bounce out of here. I'm going to go take the Twitter, answer a bunch of questions, and just do everything I can. Do the give, Retweet the giveaway, guys. Seriously. Retweet the giveaway. And thank you so much for supporting what I do. I couldn't do all this without you, for real. I love you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next stream peace out guys hey thank you symbio thank you guys thank you fiery for seven slim greek what's up guys thank you so much i love you guys i'll see you guys tomorrow go submit to tga before we fill the queue okay bye